Hello everyone, I'm back with some Cuphead. Uh, after last night, after uh, what I just went through at Dragon Quest XI, I need to play uh, something a little bit more uh, heterosexual. Just, okay, so cup. <laughs> Fucking Sylvanda, man. I am completely fed up with this character and his bullshit. Like, no. No, I don't... No, stay away from me, you creep. Okay. So that that's kind of my feelings on Sylvanda in a, in a nutshell. Like, no, he's not charming. No, he's not charismatic. Oops, here we go. Alright, so here we are, back uh, doing A rank. Oh, here we go. Trying to get the uh, the A ranks in Cuphead. I got I got hooked on this, like, last night. So I thought, like, yeah, I'm gonna come back on, stream it. Look, here we got shit. Oops. Boop. Alright, got him. Or uh, her, I'm sorry. Yeah, playing this game over and over again, I'm starting to enjoy it a bit more. I mean, you get to uh, really appreciate the game and its uh, style. Oops, here we go. Here we go, shit. Oh, damn. I just nearly missed that. I don't know, like, the, to me, like, the shmup sections feel a lot easier. Like, it doesn't have any of the platforming. It's all, like, it's all the same. The power-ups don't. Uh, to me, I think the uh, the standard running gun sections are better. Boss fights are better, not the actual sections. What am I talking about? Nobody likes the uh, running gun sections. Here we go. All right. Oh, what? what? Oh, the nose got me. Gotta be fucking kidding me. All right. All right, here we go. Yeah, I, I had a look at the uh, the achievements for this today, and uh, apparently, like only uh, five percent of players have actually beaten this game on expert. So I, I, I guess I suppose that's uh, my next goal after I get A rank. So apparently, expert is harder than uh, A rank. I'm actually not sure how expert mode plays, but we'll see. All right, let's see how this goes. A minus, is that good enough, or do I need do I need to get an A? I suppose I should, uh, investigate. Yeah, if it's A-, minus, I should have no problems at all going forward. Uh, let's look at the achievement page. Let's see... An A rank... Does that say A rank or A- minus rank? Like, <laughs> I, I have no idea. I, I'm gonna assume it says A-, A minus, because I don't really want to do the Hildeberg again. So yeah, uh, is that the last one? I, I have the yeah, I have the flower and I have the the, uh, the frogs. Uh, yeah, let's go back and do the flower. Oh, wait, fuck, how do I get over there? Yeah, I like this game a lot, but it really is too short. Like if you're good at the game, it's uh, it goes pretty quickly. I mean, shit, I only just now started like getting all the A ranks, and I'm already at the point where like. I think I could reasonably do them. Alright. I struggled against this last night, so let's see how much better I've gotten in, like, an entire day. To be fair, I haven't been playing games all day. I've been I've been working, shit. Oh, fuck. Damn. Okay, I don't know what is with this boss, but I just keep fucking it up. Alright. Here we go. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I'm just... I'm just really bad at this boss. Alright. I don't know what it is, man, but I just can't beat Car Cagney Carnation. Alright, here we go. Fuck. Yep. I mean, I've beaten him before. So, is this, like, the hardest boss of World 1? I guess it must be, right? I don't think the frogs are nearly this hard. Maybe I just have a bad loadout and I just suck. Oops, here we go.
Damn, yep. I, I gotta counter those things. So that thing shouldn't really be a threat if I can just remember to counter it. Alright, oops. Oh, oops. Yeah, I fucked that up. Oops. Oh, fuck. Are you serious? Alright. Yeah, I don't know why I'm struggling so much with this. I don't think I had that much trouble with it the first time, but alright. I think it's because it's attacks, like, just go everywhere. And I'm not, like, really jumping through the floor like I should be. Like, I, I should probably just be standing right next to it and just keep pegging it constantly. Here we go. Because, like, there are plenty of times where it's just wide open. Oops. Oops. Oh shit, I thought I got him. Got him. Alright. With like one HP, but I did win. I did beat him. <sighs> Alright, what'd I get this time? So I got two parries. Uh, how is the, how is the skill level gauged? All right, so I suppose I just got to take less hits then. Yeah, it, it's nice playing this again. Oof. Can't wait to see some of these later bosses. I feel like the early bosses are more memorable, like design wise. I don't remember the later bosses much at all. To be fair, like I got really good at the game, like towards the end, so it's like yeah, that's probably just that was probably it. I just got so good. Oops, that fuck. Oops. Damn. Damn, really? Uh there's so much shit falling on the screen, you cannot... Okay. Yeah, I was trying to parry. So you have to, like, worry about parrying, you have to worry about not getting hit, you gotta be wor you gotta be worried about doing damage, it's just... Just a lot of bullshit for A-Ranks, alright. Oh, there we go, you can... You, you can parry that, okay. Interesting, alright. Cuphead and his pal Mugman. Alright. Yep. Yeah, there's no reason to move if it's just the blue one. And yeah, the pink one's all to look out for. Oh, there we go. Shit. Was that pink? There we go. Here, here it comes. Ah, shit. What the fuck? So I ran into that thing? Alright. What is with me, like, failing epically when it comes to this boss? I don't know what it is. Like, it's the only boss I've struggled with so far. It's the first one I fought, and I thought it was just because I was sucked. I, w I just wasn't used to the game. Alright, I was just, uh, hadn't played it in a while. But no, I, I just, I'm just really bad at this boss for some reason. Alright. Uh... I guess I should vanish more. Oops. Ah, fuck. Yeah, parrying is, uh... Oops. Shit.
Yeah, I'll get it eventually. It's not too difficult. It's just... Yep, there we go. Yep, fuck you. Uh, fuck you. Yep. There we go. Yeah, all of his attacks... Alright, I'm getting used to it. all of his attacks. I think it's just like... All the stuff that can be flying on the screen at once. Like that guy above, that, that's above you. It stops you from jumping. Alright, here we go. Yep. Ah, shit. Alright, hang on. Damn. Yeah, getting a... Uh, Getting a parry is like a job in and of itself. Like, it's making me do things that I would never actually do. Like, jumping towards attacks I, I don't really want anything to do with. Alright. Oops. Yep. Ah, shit. Yeah, see, there's lots of things to parry, but uh, the timing is just weird. Alright. Yep. Did I get him? Really? Nope. Got him. Well, Cuphead and his pal Mugman. <laughs> okay. So I need to get... Yeah, so I just need to get hit less. Uh, well, practice makes perfect as they say. What do the expert modes look like? I'm gonna have to play expert, but yeah, let's get A rank first. Yeah, Mike Matei was talking about like how Super Monkey Ball One has this like feature where like you don't unlock the highest difficulty until you beat like oh the lowest hard, the last hardest difficulty on like uh, the high like without getting a continue or something like that. Uh, that's kind of what I want to do here. Actually, I really need to get I really need to get a hold of Super Monkey Ball. I have never been able to get a hold in any of the games. Like, well, I own Banana Bits, but that one sucks. Uh, like, everyone tells me, like, only the first two are any good, and uh, I don't own one or two, and I've wanted them for years, and I don't... I cannot find a copy, so I'm hoping that Sega uh, does actually re-release them soon. Oh, Alright. Oops, shit. Okay, that's just careless. Yeah, there we go. Ah, damn, I pressed the button. All right. I dodged. All right. Damn, all right. I'm really fucking up some of these dodges. All right. So I, I can beat the boss, right? But like the issue is that like I'm trying to get A rank, so that means like parrying. That means like doing stuff I wouldn't normally do. Uh, oops. Is there a more powerful attack than this? I'm actually not sure. I use this because like uh, it's really to my liking. I, I just like the uh, the move. Oh, whoops! Shit! You gotta be kidding me! You gotta be kidding me! Ah! Uh. What? I pressed the button! Alright. Why? Okay, where's my... Yeah, I'm like parrying. Like, again, normally I would just dodge all the attacks, but like the pink ones I have to parry them so I could uh, raise my score, but... Right, oops, ah, shit. Alright. Damn! So, wait, what is with the... Okay. I guess I don't have the timing for the parry... The parry down? Alright. Uh, 
There we go, got one. Okay. Oops, there we go. Shit, there we go. Yeah, there we go. I think I got that one dodged now. Oops. Yeah, they don't they don't all go in the right on the same direction, so if you can just avoid one. Avoid one of the later ones. Oops. Fuck. Yep. Oop. Damn, really? Alright, here we go. Really? Damn, really? It's really obnoxious when, like, you get so close. Like, I think, I like, another couple of seconds would have done out there. And the platforms are just... <sighs> Damn, really? Here we go, Perry. Ah, damn! Yeah, when you're on the first one, it's kind of, kind of easy to get smacked. Yeah, I keep getting hit like twice. All right. Ah, B plus. Oh, so close. Alright. Like, if I just... I probably would have scratched an A minus if I had just been, uh... Just hadn't gotten hit so much. So I, I keep getting... I just keep getting hit, like, by these, uh... By these shots that come out of nowhere. Oof. Yeah, I'm enjoying replaying this game a lot more than I thought I would. Oops. I was kind of worried that, like, once I beat it once, that would be kind of it. But no, it's, uh... Nope, it, it holds up. Like, I'll pop this in, like, occasionally. For the visual, um, novelty. I mean, just showing to someone is kind of neat, honestly. I've already had, like, people over, like, playing this who are just like, yeah, this is amazing. Oops. Alright. Already? I I'm talking like this game is brand new. Uh, it's really not, but oops. It's, like, what, two years old by this point? I mean, it should, like, um, come back in style when the DLC comes out, which will be hard to believe it still hasn't happened yet, but all right. Here we go. Oops. Oh, damn! I always just get hit twice. There's nothing I can do. All right. Here we go. Yep. Final phase. Oh, yep. Yeah, he locked it up. There we go. That was that was really close. Up. Oops. How much damage does he take? All right. All right. 
Oh, no, no. I, I've beaten it several times. Uh, the issue is that I'm going for an air rank. And uh, I'm having kind of trouble doing that. I mean, I, I've only been trying to get A rank uh, for a while. I mean, I've only been trying to do it on this boss, uh, this stream, and I'm almost fucking there. Oh, so close. Okay. So, yeah, I, I'm thinking that I'm going to go ahead and uh, try to beat this game on expert mode and um, get an A rank on all the bosses. Which, as, as I understand it, is very, very difficult. I had a look at the uh, the Steam regi the Steam achievement list, and I think like something like 5% of players have beaten it, beaten the game on Expert. So, um, yeah, I'm definitely uh, wanting to put myself in that number. I, I gotta have a look at a Hollow Knight's achievement list, because there's no way that 112% completion, completion is common. Um, I mean, I, I cannot imagine most players have beaten the Pantheons. Oops. Any of the Pantheons. Oops. And uh, here I am, like, having beaten four of them. I can do, like, five whenever. Like, I, I, I legit, like, think I could do five, like, right now. I just, I just, um, I don't know. I just didn't want to sit, <laughs> sit, like, for 40 minutes a pop, like, trying to do it. Like, I fucked up on Sly, and I was just like, okay, that's it. Oops. Ah, damn! Yeah, the big thing right now is just not getting hit, and uh, I can't seem to manage that. Oh, fuck. There we go. Oh, fuck. Fuck. There we go. Yeah, it's starting to get easier. Oops, here we go. Okay, I think I, I think I could probably do it if I don't get hit again. Oops. Yeah, I really like the spreader, as you can tell, and that's not probably not the best weapon for this boss, but oops. But yeah, I can make it work, so... Yeah, I wonder what the best ideal playstyle is. This is the one I've developed. Like, I, I just like the uh, the spreader, and I'll use the... There we go, got it. Got it. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh, by the way, uh, can can, any, can anyone confirm whether, like, an A- is good enough for the achievement? Because, like, I, I wasn't sure when I got an A- on one of the bosses. Oh, wait, what? Why, why was my super meter down? Wait, how, how exactly is the, uh, the super meter tallied? Is it, is it, like, how many times you use it, or is it how many you have? Because, like, I, I'm really, really confused about how that works. Alright, let, let's try that again. No, this is, ex this is normal. Like, I'm not, I'm not ready, I'm not playing on Expert yet. I wanted to, like, get the A rank achievement before I, uh, I moved on to Expert. So right now, I'm currently still playing on Normal. I, I, I do want to, I do want to do an Expert, though. I think I will get A rank pretty quickly. Uh, the game's not long at all. Fuck! Bullshit! Alright. I pressed... I deliberately jumped at that pink thing to counter it. Why did it not... Okay. Okay. Here we go. Oh. Ah, damn. This is... Okay, this was just a bad run. It happens. Uh, I guess we could try to get a confirmation as to whether... Yeah, I'm in the bad habit of not using the super moves. Because, like, I don't I don't really incorporate them in my general playstyle, and it just gets in the way, so... But apparently you need to use them to uh, get a better score, so... Oops. Alright, oops, here we go. Okay, let's, uh... Use that. Oops. Ah, oh, fuck! <sighs> you gotta be kidding me. Really? I hate it when that happens. Oh, really? Good for you, yeah. I, I haven't played it at all since I've beaten it. This is the first time I've, uh, I've picked it up. Well, not not the first time, but, uh, the first time I've seriously tried to play it. Like, I, I've had people over who wanted to play it, and, uh, that's the only time I've touched this since I beat it, so I, I haven't... Like, same deal with Hollow Knight, right? Like, I, I really like the game, but I just didn't do any, everything in it right away. Uh, and I, I think that's probably going to be the thing for like the really good indie games. Oh shit! Okay, we are retrying that. That was that was ridiculous. <sighs> mm. 
Yeah, I'm definitely... There are, are definitely a number of indie games that I really, really enjoy. I, um... But they're very, very few and far between. Like, they, they kind of get, like, uh, hidden... I don't want to say hidden. They kind of, like... They're kind of obscured by all the bullshit. You know what I mean? Like, this and Hall... Games like this, games like Hollow Knight, like, they're kind of, uh... They're kind of lumped in with shit like Stardew Valley, with uh, Undertale, with Celeste, like th those ge Fall Guys. Like those games aren't good. Like the this is legitimately good. Th those games are not. They'll be forgotten pretty quickly. Undertale kind of already has. Oops, here we go. Oops. I mean, at this point, like Toby Fox is only like really relevant because of his uh of his Nintendo connect connections, which he already. Which he actually already had before he uh, did the before he even made Undertale. So uh, <laughs> that's the thing about Toby Fox. Like people have this like misconception that like he's super popular because of Undertale. No, he has he already had a uh, history uh, dealing with these people. He's had like working relationship with them before. Here we go. Shit. All right. Like the Moon Creator was talking about that. How he was uh, going around in 2012. Uh, Japan, like, doing things. Um, Toby Fox is a hack, but <laughs> uh, you don't need me to tell you that. Oh, yeah. Uh, Edgeworth. Um, I I decided to, like, put it away. I, I wasn't really enjoying it. Honestly, uh, honestly, like, I'm getting really burned out on, like, playing, like, endless amounts of, like, spinoffs and just all this media. Like, there's all this stuff that I would really, really like to do. Uh, Dragon Quest Builders. Uh, I have, like, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon sitting in front of me. Like, I would like to watch everything. I would like to play everything. But I really don't have time. I mean, I, I hate, like, coming out here and saying that all the time. But, like, I, I'm doing so much other stuff. It's really difficult for me to do something I'm not really enjoying thoroughly. You know what I mean? So, like, um, Ace Attorney Investigations. I, I just I, I just don't care for it. Oops. Which is a shame, too, because I, I, I've heard the second one is amazing, but I don't know. I mean, it never came out in America. Uh, I mean, that was kind of the only reason I even uh, I even started playing Investigations again. Because I, I already played it once and didn't really like it. But I was, I was considering, like, okay, maybe maybe I'll get, like, a fan a fan, a fan cart translation of two. Because uh, I have a guy who'll do that. Uh, okay, let's try that again. I was considering, like, getting a, uh, uh, trying to, but, like, I, I can't even sit through one, so I'm kind of, like, I'm kind of curious as to whether I should even bother uh, finishing one. It's a, it's a, it's such a shame. Like, I, I'm a huge fan of, like, the original Ace Attorney trilogy, or, or rather, like, uh, actually, all of the mainline games other than, uh, 4, I think. I think 4 is the only one I don't really, yeah, yeah, Justice for All and 4 I don't really like all that much. Like, the rest I really like. Uh, I don't know, man. Like, there are games that I really, really enjoy that I haven't replayed all that much. Like, A Link Between Worlds, I've only finished twice. I'm on, like, my uh, third playthrough now. Um, uh, Spirit of Justice, I've played once. <laughs> uh, Dual Destinies, I've only played once. I actually, I've played a couple of cases twice. I was in the middle of, like, a second playthrough when, like, I stopped. Like, I, I just can't, like, replay games anymore, like, the way I used to. Oops. Plus, I like I don't I don't forget things as um, as quickly these days, so it, it doesn't really make sense to uh, to replay games the way I used to, in my opinion. Oops, here we go. So like I don't re there's actually like a lot I don't remember about the plots of uh, Dual Destinies and Spirit of Justice. So I think now is a good time to replay them. Um, oh yeah, and Apollo Justice as well. Oops, F ah. I know the trilogy, like, extremely well, but, like, uh, the, the, the the second trilogy, no, not really. The Apollo Justice trilogy. Yeah, some trilogy. He gets his own game that doesn't even, like, feature him as a protagonist, really. And then he gets, like, a sequel. Then he gets, like, a five, which barely has him in it at all. And then it's just uh, six, which is supposedly about him, and kind of is, but isn't really. It's just, ugh. You know, six should have... Six, like, legit, should have been, like, the entire plot should have been Apollo and Karain. Like, like that's it. Like, Phoenix, like, don't, you don't need Phoenix. Like, I, I don't understand why Capcom is so, like, insistent on, like, not having new characters. Like, that's the big thing holding back Ace Attorney right now. Like, their refusal to, like, introduce new characters. Like, new protagonists. 
Like, they, they just have to keep reusing Phoenix all the time. When his story ended in, like, 3, like, 3 was, like, the perfect way to end it, and they, they keep dragging it out, and it's very, very frustrating. Like, I get the character is, like, iconic and stuff like that, but, like, I don't know. I haven't been cameo appearances, like, shit. Like, have him just be a mentor character. I don't know, like, just... Just don't have him, like, be the main character, you know what I mean? I mean, to be fair, like, it seems like the series is building towards, like, just being an ensemble cast. Of, like, just whoever taking the bench, so, uh, Hopefully... Hopefully we get away from that eventually, but... Oops. Yeah, I'm a big Ace Attorney fan, but I am very, very critical of the plots of these games. They're, they're getting very formulaic, unfortunately. Uh, like, the mysteries themselves are not, but, like, the uh, the sort of uh, character moments, you, you know what I mean? Like, you, you, you know Edgeworth is never going to die. They're never going to kill Phoenix. Like, it, it's just... <laughs> It's just like the formula is just kind of established now, and it's uh, it's losing a lot of its appeal, I think. Like, even in, like, the second game, they were thinking, like, okay, how do we make this different than, like, uh, what came before? And I don't really think they're doing that now. Uh, that, that's just my opinion, though. Oh, is it really? Yeah, people keep telling me Investigations 2 is, like, amazing. So should I check it out? I I, I think I will, because like I, I have played Investigations first before. Uh, I think I got to like up to case four, before three or four before I stopped. Uh, so I, I got like a good way into it. Like I just, yeah, it, it was that part where like you're uh, dealing with Francisca, like going over like the investigations and just uh, that was that was boring. Like I didn't I didn't give a shit about what was going on, so I was just like, okay, I'm gonna stop. And then I decided to replay it, and then I I couldn't even get past case one. Because, like, I didn't care about the villain, I didn't care about, like, the situation, I didn't like the the new mechanics, it was just, it was just, like, one of those situations, man. Where I was just like, I don't really enjoy this? Alright. Which is, which is a sad thing to say, I think. Oops. But yeah, Investigations 2, I, people keep telling me it's the greatest thing ever, and it never came out in the U.S. Like, what, what were they thinking? Uh, like, if it's so good, why didn't they bring it over? And, like, I've been wanting the, uh, actually, I've been wanting the, uh, the Sherlock Holmes one. Uh, the Great Ace Attorney for a while. I don't know, uh, what the deal with that one is. I know nothing about that one. I have no idea how that, how, how good that one was. I feel like nobody talks about it. Like, once it, like, didn't come out in the West, people were just like, okay, whatever. And, like, I'm a big Holmes fan, right? Um, so, oops. So I, I was really looking forward to that, and they, they completely botched it. Oops. Oops. Yeah, people were talking all this crazy shit about like, oh, oh, Sherlock Holmes, oh, they couldn't get the copyright for the character. I'm just like, Sherlock Holmes is in the public domain, you fucking retards. Um, it, it's just Capcom being complete idiots. Uh... Oh, yeah, I can't really rate the, uh, the paths of, a. Uh, Three houses, because I've only played two of them. I have not done uh, Edelgard's route, which is really weird considering she's my uh, she's my waifu. And uh, actually, I have a picture of her on my wall, and uh, she's my screensaver right now. I actually wanted to show off my uh, my Edelgard uh, screensaver. I was thinking about that today because it's awesome. But uh, yeah, Edelgard is uh, love Edelgard, but I, I would never side with her. Uh, she's a bitch. It's really weird how, like, I go back and forth and I'm like, oh, Edelgard, she's my waifu. But, like, I want to fucking kill her. So I guess I'm, like, the Dimitri in this situation. Which is really weird, considering I haven't actually played Blue Lions. So, yeah, um, I would suggest, uh... I don't know, like, just do whatever. Like, it really doesn't matter, because, like, from what I understand, the story kind of has a, its problems no matter what you do. Like, I really like, uh, Three Houses... Aspects of Three Houses, right? Uh, but... Uh, Golden Deer was kind of... I mean, you have to play them all, so, like, ranking them is kind of pointless. Like, you're gonna you're gonna miss out on a lot of lore if you don't do certain things. Uh, I don't know, man. Like, the route, to, the route system needs to go. Like, I mean, it was better than, like, in Fates, but it was still, like... Okay, they're reusing a ton of content. It's, uh... This could be a lot better handled. <laughs> um, oops. 
Yeah, I need to get get caught up on the chat. Excuse me. Like I know a lot of people are chatting right now, and I haven't been able to. I've been focusing on this. All right. Yeah, I've heard Dimitri's is the best, and I, I do kind of believe it going by what I've what I've heard. Um, because like Edelgard's route is shorter, and you have to deal with like Edelgard like justifying her complete and utter bullshit. Um, like the Golden Deer route is boring. Like, there's no point in like doing the Golden Deer route and the uh, the Church route because like they're basically the same thing. Like with with with, with or without Claude, it's it's really really weird. Like, honestly, like, I really wish they had left the church route out entirely and just made, like, Claude's route more interesting. Because Claude, like, you know, I love the Golden Deer, right? I, I really like, like, all the characters in this game, right? But a, a lot of them don't... You know what? I, I'm going to say, like, go go for Blue Lions. Because Blue Lions, uh, a lot of those characters have, like, uh, story arcs in the, in the, uh, the first part of the game. It, it makes a lot of sense to start with Blue Lions, I think. Uh... Like, I would, I would recommend Golden Deer last, because... Um, yeah, the final boss. Oops. I mean, I mean, the the game is good no matter what you do. Oops. Yeah, I was gonna. I was. I actually have. I actually have it on my shelf uh, right now. I was gonna. I was gonna replay it after Dragon Quest Eleven. Oh yeah, I was bitching about Dragon Quest XI when I first went live. Like, I, I am sick of, like, Silvando and his homosexuality. Like, I, I am just done with him. Just out of, get out of my face, Silvando. Like, you don't, you don't make me parade around with your bullshit posse of, uh, soy boys. No, it, it's not gonna happen. Like, that is legit, like, the second gayest thing I think I've ever seen in a game. The first, the first gayest is, like, uh, the entirety of, like, Knights of Azur 2. And that's because, like, that entire game is meant to be, like, a Yuri, an anime Yuri, like, fantasy. Like, you're a hot vampire chick, and every other chick, like, wants to fuck you. Like, it's just, it's really, really weird. I mean, it's hilarious in a kind of, like, morbid way. Maybe maybe I'll stream it someday to, like, kind of demonstrate, like, how, how messed up that game is. I, I've realized over, like, the past couple of days that I, I really, really dislike um, Yuri shit. I mean, not, not just Yuri shit, uh fan service -y shit. Like, I don't like fan service in anime. Like, I don't. Like, just have the characters... Like, here's my thing, and, and um... I, I think this kind of ties into, like, why I like Edelgard so much. Like, I like appealing uh, personalities, right? Like, I don't go for thoughts. You know what I mean? So, uh... Oh, we did it! We did it! Yes! Holy fucking shit, we did it without even thinking about it. I start talking shit about thoughts, and I immediately get an A rank. Wow. Cuphead is based in Red Pilled. Okay, wow. Okay, awesome. So, okay, there we go. Moving on. Yeah, A, A. So, yeah, I have a bunch of A's, an A minus, and a C. Like, I'm not sure if the A minus qualifies, but but we'll, we'll we'll leave it be for now. Like, that one is, that one is against Hildeberg. She's not too difficult. Uh, all right, so, Ribby and Croaks. All right, let's see. I, I have not done this one in a while, so let's see how this goes. See, hang on. There we go. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, I was just, just making sure I was caught up on the chat. Yep, okay. Yeah, it's really difficult to, like, to pay attention to the chat and, like, play this fucking game. All right. Damn, all right. I've not played this in a while. All right. I don't remember a damn thing about this boss. All right. Wait, up. Oh. Yeah, can you counter the pink ones? I think you can. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah, uh... I, I don't know, like, I have a, a bit of a history with, like, uh, homosexuals. Uh, for those of you who aren't aware, I do live in a very, very gay-friendly community, so I am I am very, very familiar with uh, people like Savando, and I, I know for a fact that these people are uh, not who they say they are. So, like, whenever I see Savando, I'm just like, eh. He's putting on a front, man. Um... Oops. Like, I don't trust any of his motivations. Oops. Uh, oops.
Yeah, I, I could bitch about like Sylvando all day. Uh, and it's completely unnecessary, like flamboyancy. Oops. Shit. Yeah, I found like that entire like uh, pride parade shit like completely unacceptable. Like I, I did not appreciate that at all. Oops. Oops. Uh. Well, say Pride Parade is a bit like, uh, it's not literally a Pride Parade, but that is like the, that is like the, uh, that is what came, came to mind while I was, like, playing through that segment of Dragon Quest XI. Like, I was just like, no, this is, this is completely retarded. Like, did he, like, did he ass fuck all those dudes? Like, it's it, it just bizarre to me. Like, they were normal people, and then they met Silvando and became homosexuals. <laughs> it's like, no. I get the world is in a bad shape, but you don't you don't have to do that. Oops. Yeah, I am. Um, yeah, nobody told me that like Dragon Quest XI is basically just Final Fantasy VI, but with like Dragon Quest characters. Like, oh, the world is supposedly in trouble, but like you basically fix all the problems in like a couple of. Uh, well, I mean, all the problems is a bit bit of a stretch, but uh, I mean, you get like the sky back. I mean, pretty quickly. Like, the game does such a good job of, like, making it feel moody and, like, really, really atmospheric, and then, like, it just... I don't want to say, like, it goes back to the way it was, but, like, it's very, very similar. Uh, oops. Like, it really makes you think that, like, you know, Final Fantasy VI is better than this. Like, they did more with, like, um, with the older technology. It's kind of remarkable, but, but um, I mean, six really is something special. Alright. Like the quest lines were better, like the uh, the the character moments were better. Uh, like you actually have to like go out and look for people. Like it's not like scripted sequences, you know what I mean? And you have to like help them and like recover themselves. Like sometimes they're willing to join you immediately, and other times like they have their own things to deal with. Uh, Like, the, four, the second half of, like, Final Fantasy VI, where, like, you're rebuilding your party, like, that, that feels like an entire game in and of itself, and, like, I don't know, Dragon Quest XI doesn't feel like it's really doing that. Like, honestly, like, I, I really, I really did like the characters in the, the first half. Like, I, again, but, like, oof. I don't know, like, I, I feel like they could have done a lot more with them. Uh, I mean, I, I'm shocked at, like, how little Serena actually does. Like, she just exists... I, I feel like she exists to just be like, oh, uh, Veronica is supposed to look like this. Like, to uh, to emphasize the fact that, like, oh, it's okay, Veronica isn't actually a little girl. Oof. I don't know, man. There, there were too many times playing Dragon Quest XI when, like, the camera just focuses on, like, uh, Veronica, like, pressing herself against you or whatever. Like, it was kind of... Um, it was kind of implying you were a couple. Like, I posted this on Twitter where, like, uh, you, your, your character is, like, sick for a little bit, and, um, Veronica is, like, very, very worried about you, and, like, apparently she spent, like, the entire, um, the entire period where you were sick, like, taking care of you, and she tries to deny it, and, uh, everybody just sort of makes fun of her, like, it's, it's like the game wants you to, like, ship the character with this little girl, and it's just, no, that, that, that's also bad, that, that's honestly kind of worse than Silvata. Oops. I mean, I mean, it's the same thing. It's degeneracy, but which is really weird, because like Gemma and like uh, Gemma and uh, Serena are uh, best girls, uh, and they don't get a lot of focus at all. I mean, J Jade Jade is pretty good as well, but like ag again, like wow, Veronica's. I mean, you have like I, I mean, I see Jade as like a big sister character. Like I, I don't like how the oof. I mean, I, I believe you can marry her. I, I don't know. Uh, I actually don't know how the marriage works in this game. I knew very little about this game going into it. Uh, here we go. Uh, yeah, shitting on a uh, yeah, shitting on Veronica, shitting on like half the cast at this point. Eric doesn't feel like he does anything. Like to the point where like I'm not even sure where he was involved. He was such a good character like early on, but then like he sort of like start, stops being relevant, and now he's like lost his memories or some shit. Like I'm just like ah, Eric, what? I was so optimistic about Dragon Quest XI going into it, but now I'm like, I, I mean, I, I still really like it, right? I still, I'm still having a lot of fun with it, but. Like, I, I'm still having a lot of fun with it, right? But it, it feels like, yeah, a lot of missed opportunities there. Oh, here we go. Shit. Yeah, I forgot the bouncing balls. Oh, shit. 
No oh, shit. All right. Yeah, I'm a I'm a big fan of I I, I um I, I think Octopath Traveler is stronger than overall than uh, Dragon Quest XI by far. Like Octopath Traveler, I called like the best JRPG in years. I, I stand by that. Uh, Octopath uh, Dragon Quest XI is just okay. Like I mean, Dragon Quest VII is better. Dragon Quest IV is better. Like it, it, I'd say it's like about the same quality as Dragon Quest VIII. I don't know. Like Dragon Quest VIII. Like I didn't like Dragon Quest VIII as like as much as like XI, right? But uh, like the strong parts of XI are stronger than VIII, right? But uh. I don't know, like, 8 didn't piss me off this much with, like, the characters and, like, some of the some of the shit they pull. Like... Like, it mostly, like, I, I, th I thought the 8 cast was kind of boring, but, like, they don't- they didn't annoy me the way, like, Silvador does- a uh, Salvador does. A uh, Salvador? Silvador. Shit, how do you say his name? Shit. I can't even say his name properly and I'm shitting all over him. Oops. Like, yeah, Veronica. Oof. <laughs> I remember Veronica's name. Oops. Yeah, I'm shitting on, like, Dragon Quest XI while trying to play this s notoriously hard, uh, indie game. Oops. Alright. Fuck. Alright. Silvando. Yeah, Silvando. Okay. Hey, yeah, Edelgard's, uh, bisexuality. <laughs> Which is honestly, like, h hilarious to me. Like, she loves you so much, it doesn't matter, like, whether you uh, you have a penis or not. Oops. To me, like, Edelgard's bisexuality is hilarious. Like, oops. I mean, I treat, like, uh... I mean, I've talked about this before, but, uh... Oof. Uh... Like, lesbians don't really exist, it's just, like... It's just like a coping mechanism mechanism of not getting like the man you want. So that's basically like Edelgard. Oops. Like that that's um pretty indicative. Oops. Same with Dorothea actually. Oops. Uh I mean Dorothea is just a thought, like through and through. Like Edelgard just has like lots of personal problems. Oops. Yeah, apparently like I prefer like genocidal uh like tyrant dictators over uh over thoughts, so uh yeah, that, that just goes to show what kind of person I am. Oops. Uh, well, hey, like, Edelgard's really cute, so that, that doesn't really matter. Okay. This, this Frog and Toad reboot is kind of a... Uh, Oops. All right, here we go. Oops. Yeah, I mean, this game like just takes a lot of practice. So like, you have to know all the weird moves they can pull. Like, like uh, I think the parry might actually be. Uh, all right, this is one of the harder bosses as I, as I recall. So, oops. here we go. Oops. Ah, damn, alright. There we go. Yeah, then he turns over to a slot machine. Yep. Yeah, Sylvan, though. Why, why, why did I call trying him, calling him Salvador? I have no idea. Alright. I mean, I knew his name. Oops. I mean, I played the fucking game. Alright. Oops. Ah, uh, shit. I mean, I don't know why the game doesn't seem to like Serena very much. Oops. Like, she hasn't done really anything other than, like, cure that kid, Placido. I can remember Placido's name, but not Silvado's. Like, what the fuck is with that? Like, when she cured that kid of his, uh, of his, uh, uh muteness. Like, that was kind of nice, but, yeah, she doesn't really do a whole lot. There we go, easy. Easy peasy. All right, let's see how we did. 
Lolicon agenda. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I, I am, uh, I'm becoming very frustrated with Lolicon uh, supporters and enablers. I am very, very critical of the idea that, uh, uh, oh, it's, it's just, it, it's just, uh, it's just a drawing, man. It's not actually going to enable pedophiles. It, it, it does. Uh, it does. Just, just look at Digi, bro, right? Like, we're seeing a weird, a really strong overlap between this kind of uh, content existing and uh, these people becoming more and more extreme. Uh, pe people need to stop, like, thinking of uh, dealing with pedophiles, right, as, as being, like, something against free speech. Like, I, I really strongly disagree with that. Like, there's nothing wrong with condemning, like, really disgusting uh, sexual de de degeneracy. Oops. It's not, like, inhibiting, like, your freedoms. Like, you're you're preventing people from uh, doing doing bad things. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. It's, like, it's no different than stopping any other crime. Like, oof. Like, you shouldn't view it as anything different. Like, and you shouldn't think that, like, oh, doing this will, like, limit my own free speech. Like, no, because you aren't a fucking degenerate. Like, uh Will the government use this against me? Yeah, they're gonna- they try using everything against you. Like, I keep seeing, like, uh, recently, uh, I've been seeing a lot of people try to, uh, to bring the discussion back to, uh, to mass shootings, and, like, why we need to ban firearms, which is- which is hilarious after the, uh, after the riots, right? Because one of their- one of their justifications for why people don't need guns in this modern era is because, like, oh, you can just call the police no matter where you are. But, uh, th these same people want to get rid of the police, so it's like, okay, whatever. The gun control debate is basically over. I, I can't imagine them ever getting the same kind of traction again. So too many, like, people who were, like, hardcore, like, uh, anti-gun people are, are, like, very, very, have suddenly become very, very aware of why they might need a gun, uh, you know, to shoot the rioters if, uh, they need to. Oops. Alright. Are they still trying to pretend that, like, Kyle Rittenhouse did anything wrong? I, I, um... I'm not sure how... Oh, what the fuck? That is completely different than last time. What? So, so wait, they have different... Okay. They have different... I completely forgot they had different things. Really? I had no idea. Alright. Alright. So I fucked that up because I... I thought, I thought it was the same one every time. All right, so they so they actually do have different attacks. Okay, so I guess they just switch it up sometimes. Shit! All right, yeah, I, I gotta I gotta parry these pink ones so I can raise my score. So. Uh, that, that's kind of why I put myself in these bad situations sometimes. Like it's not how I norm how I normally play, but you have to you have to parry to get higher rank, so. Oops, there we go. And like parrying is so pointless. Like it doesn't hurt them at all. Like it's just alright, here we go. So which one is which? Which one is ribbits and which one is croaks? Uh where the world may never know. I mean I'm I'm sure somebody knows, but like, supposedly Cuphead is getting, like, an animated TV show on Netflix, which is, uh, kind of interesting. I don't know. I, I don't subscribe to Netflix, and, uh, I don't intend to. I have so much shit to watch anyway. Like, why would I need more subscription services? Like, I, I can't even, like, watch my anime. I can't watch, like, Code Lyoko. Like, I can't watch, like, shit. Uh, can't watch Trigun. Can't watch anything. Right, here we go. Well, to be fair, that's mostly because, like, I'm sitting around playing... Shit like this all the time. Playing Dragon Quest XI, uh, writing books. Uh, that reminds me, I really need to um, to work on some more rabbit hole. Oops, I have not worked yet today. Here we go. Okay, let's just use the, the homing one. I don't give a shit. Oops. Oh, is it? does it depend on which one it lands on? Okay. Okay, uh... There we go. So I, I just got the I just got the good one. Okay. So like the laser ones are probably the hardest. All right. Oops. Here we go. Shit. It's fast. All right. 
Damn. All right. Okay, let's, uh... Got him. You bitch. All right. Yeah, I like I like Gemma. Uh, I don't have a I don't have a problem with the the childhood friend. If anything, I kind of wish she was in the story more. Like she doesn't seem all that relevant. Like honestly, like honestly, like I if I didn't already suspect that, like I, I think somebody already told me that you can marry her. If I didn't know that, I would assume like she gets cucked no matter what. Like Serena, like swoops in and just uh, steals you. I, I mean, that's my problem with Serena. Like, she's not all that different from, like, Gemma. Like, they, they look the same. They behave somewhat similarly. Like, other than, like, Gemma growing up with you, like, shit. Like, why would you, why would you choose Gemma over Serena? Shit. It's really weird how, like, I'm not very interested in Jade, because, like, y you guys know I'm a big Tifa fan, right? Jade is basically Dragon Quest Tifa, and, uh, I don't know, like, I just I just don't like Jade as much. I mean, she's fine, but, like, I don't hate her or anything, but, like, yeah, like I said, big sister. Oops. She's, like, older than you, dude. By, like, at least, like, what, five years? Oops. I mean, you were, you were just a newborn baby, right, when the monsters attacked, so she has to be, like, she can't be that much old, older, like, a couple of years older than you, for sure. Uh, well, she's kind of a thought, so, uh, I mean, kind of. I don't know, like, why is she such a thought? Like, I don't, I don't understand this. Like, what, what about Jade makes her more of a thought than, like, Veronica or Serena? Like, wh why is she the thought character? Like, that's kind of confusing to me. Like, it, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Oops. She has, like, the thought, like, attacks, like a hip drop and, like, a allure and shit like that. Like, how is that, how is that, like... I don't know. And, and then she was like forced into that bunny suit in like her chapter, like before, um, before the end of the, before like the Final Fantasy VI segment. So like I was just like, okay, uh, why, why is this game doing this to my girl? Like, don't don't fuck with my sister like that. I call her like my sister, but she's not even like really your sister. Like, she just really liked your mom. Oops. Oops. Alright. I mean, I, I like Jade's story arc, but, like, it's just like, okay. Rab got really interesting, like, in part two, I think. Rab, out of, like, all the characters, I'm just like, okay, this is actually pretty interesting. That's This is actually pretty awesome. Him, like, training on a mountain <laughs> with his, uh, with his uh, Sundere, like, uh, Master Pang. That's awesome. Oops. Is Sundere they turn to use? Like, she does seem kind of Sundere-ish. Like, I love Pang so much. She's hilarious. It's such a shame, like, she's basically dead. Like, I wish you had, like, a lengthy ch training arc with her, but no. Like, you just learn all the moves immediately. It's annoying. Alright, here we go. Whoa, 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 Hendrick, what the fuck is with... What the fuck is with... Why is Hendrick on that list? Like, shit. Alright, B minus, shit. Alright. But yeah, I, um... I'm about, like, 30 hours into DQ, DQ11. Well, not, not quite 30, like, more like 28, but, uh... Yeah, I am, uh... I still have, like, a long way to go. How long is it? Like, it has to be, like, 60 hours, right? I can't imagine it being, uh... I beat 8 in about 50, if I remember remember, remember correctly. In 7 and 80, I can't imagine it being as long as 7. Uh... Like, 7, 4 and 7 are, like, two of my favorite uh, RPGs ever, so it's kind of a shame to, like, see, like, 11 not quite hit that mark. I mean, I, I still like it a lot. Like, for a modern game, it's very, very good, but, like, it, it's definitely not uh, on par with the classics, I think. Uh, and I imagine most people would agree with that, but, I mean, I, I could be wrong. 
I mean, I mean, it got like a lot, a lot of people interested in Dragon Quest, I think, which I guess is a good thing. Uh, like, I feel like it did really well in the West, because like I, I've heard like it, it sold really, really well uh, for for a Dragon Quest game over here. So, I mean, I certainly like it a lot. Like, honestly, like the only off-putting thing about it is like the gayness and just. Ugh. Like, I, I can't really, I can't stand by that shit, man, but, uh, I mean, it's not pandering either. Here, here's the thing about it, though. There's, like, a difference between, like, the, the SJW, like, gay pandering and then, like, just having a gay character in there. Like, Silvando is just, is just a gay character. It doesn't feel like propaganda at all. It's just a joke. And, uh, I, I happen to have, like, a problem with that kind of person, so it's just, okay, whatever, Oops. I mean, it's not like the character doesn't have, like, good moments, but, like, yeah, the parade was, uh, not really... Ah, oh, shit. I really fucked that up. Oh, I fucked up everything. Oh, oops. Uh, hey, let's just come in, man. Ah, oh, damn, really? Are you fucking serious? Bullshit! Bull shit! Did you see that? Uh, I don't. I don't know what that is. I, I have been like very, very um, unwilling to try new, new, new JRPGs. Cause like, well, for one thing, I'm a big Dragon Quest fan, but I haven't played all the games yet, so I'm kind of focused on that. And uh, honestly, like, a lot of them just aren't very good. Like, I'm kind of sick of like picking up shit like Final Fantasy XII and. Uh, uh, What's another example? Tales of um, of Vesperia and not really liking them. Y you know what I mean? Like that, that keeps happening with RPGs. Like I'd much rather play like one really good RPG for like a really long time. And uh, I mean that, that's kind of what's happening with like uh, Final Fantasy VII, with uh, Bat and Kaido's Origins, with uh, Dragon Quest XI. But uh, but yeah, a lot of like I don't really. There are lots of JRPGs I don't really like. Oops. Well, more importantly, don't really have time for. Like, I don't, I don't know. Like, I, I think the days of me playing like a 50-hour JRPG that I don't really like is over. Like after Stella Glow, I was just like, you know, you know what? This game wasn't great. Like, sure, you, you, uh, this is a game where you uh, stick hard, hard, long objects into underage girls, but, uh, but uh, it's like, okay, I can't do this again. I can't do this again. Uh, it, it's just too long for no reason. Too like that game really could have been like 25 hours long. Like for some reason, like you have to grind for like another 25 to beat it like i did it but it was like okay this is this was really dumb yeah i'm always joking about like the premise of stella glow um for those of you who aren't aware it's uh it's like some kind of weird harem strategy game oops and honestly the girls are uh, a lot of the girls are nice but shit all right But yeah, the, the game isn't great, unfortunately. I mean, there, there are things about it that I really liked, but it's like, eh. And it didn't need to be 50 hours long, for sure. Here we go. Oh, fuck. Are you serious? Alright. Like, honestly, like, I, I put down, like, Shin Megami Tensei 4. I liked it, but, like, I can't commit time for it. Like, I put down, like, uh, a bunch of stuff. I mean, to be fair, I hadn't played Dragon Quest XI yet, so, I mean, there's a reason. There's a reason I put it away, because I wanted to, like, move on to better games, like, that I wanted to play more. Alright, here we go. Alright, there we go, easy. Oh, visual novels? Yeah, I don't... Switch has been getting a lot of visual novels, and, uh... I haven't been able to get into the genre. I mean, I, I guess Ace Attorney is technically one, but... Okay, let's see what this... No! Yeah, we just had to, like, not get hit. Okay. We're almost there, boys. We're almost there. Have I really been playing this for an hour? Wow.
Yeah, I, I've been really enjoying uh, Dragon Quest XI in general, but yeah, th th there are definitely aspects of it that I uh, would have changed. Like the party members, I, I think they could have had like more involved storylines. I don't know. That's kind of my uh, my thing with Dragon Quest sometimes. It, like sometimes like they, they just sort of introduce plot threads out of nowhere. Like, oh, you have to help this mermaid reunite with her lover, and none of this matters. Like, it's just, okay. Like, it's charming, but then, like, it doesn't really build up to anything. And from what I'm told, it's like, uh... Like, they retcon it anyway, but we'll see. Like, later on anyway. Like, I've heard that, like, uh, Part 2 does, like, a bunch of stuff with, like... With, like, prior, priorly uh, established concepts that just kind of shits all over what happened in the first place. That's what I've been told. I'm not sure if it's true or not. But yeah, at this point, like I can safely say, I think I did prefer uh, Dragon Quest four and seven over over eleven, which uh, I, I don't know. I, I guess isn't unexpected, but I mean, it's kind of disappointing. I was kind of hoping eleven kind of had me uh, going for a minute there. I thought it was going to be legit great. Not one of my all time favorites, but uh, you know, it, it's a lot of fun. It's good if you're like switch JRPGs. I mean, you can do a lot worse. Like it's better than Skyrim, for example. Like shit, fuck Skyrim. It really is better than Skyrim when you think about it. Like, people talk all this shit about, like, oh, you, uh, Skyrim has this wide-open environment and hundreds of quests do. None of the quests matter. Like, um, Dragon Quest XI is, like, you, you know, 120 hours of, like, actual content. Like, as opposed to just wandering around an empty open space the way that, like, Elder Scrolls is. Dragon Quest is way better than Elder Scrolls. Oops. All right. Like, I don't even think it's, like, debatable. Oops. Oh, damn, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely starting to, like, be very, very critical. Uh, I already have been, but, like... <sighs> like, there are a few, like, series that I really, really like that I will continue to follow going forward, but I think, like, the days of me just uh, buying random games just for the sake of it... Like, people can hype up shit like Quake to me all they want. I don't think I'll ever own a game. I think I actually do own, like, Quake 64, but I don't think I've ever played it. Like why? Why would I? Uh, why would I? Why would I bother? Why would I get into another game? I I have Golden Eye. I don't. I don't need your bullshit. Like I still have to play Time Splitters. I still have to play like. <laughs> I still have to play Perfect Dark. Like shit. Like I have so much shit that I want to play that I already know I like. Why would I get anything new? That, that's the thing. Like a big part of that is like Nintendo's history is so strong. Like, I was thinking a while back, you know, I haven't played a lot of, uh, a lot of my older GameCube games. I haven't played, like, Wave Race in a while, I haven't played F-Zero GX in a while. Like, F-Zero GX, I keep wanting to come back to, like, every couple of years or so to try and play it again, and, uh, uh we'll, we'll have to see if, um, I actually, I end up, like, seeing what everyone else is seeing. Like, one of the best racing games of all time, man. Oops. Like, people keep telling me that, and I don't see why. I really don't. All right. I don't know what the ra the best racing game of all time is, but... Oh, here we go! Sheriff! Yep, we did it! We did it! We did it, boys! Yep, I just beat it. Yep, we did it. Ah, oh, yes! Glorious! Alright, so we got all the, uh... We got the achievement for all the bosses in Inkwell, Inkwell Island 1. Alright. Yeah, that one took me a while. How long did that take? Like a couple of minutes? Like 20 minutes at least. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why people like so, are so adamantly like, holy shit, F-Zero GX is the best game ever. Like, not really. Like, I don't... I don't know what's with people's obsessions with that game. You know, I saw, like, uh, Mike Matei's video on, like, his GameCube collection, and, like, I swear, like, 90% of it was, like, licensed game, and him going, and him, like, saying that, like, yeah, I've heard this is good, but I've never played it. Like, motherfucker, why do you own so many different games you've never played? 
Like, it, it doesn't make any sense to me. Alright. Like, he owns, like, a copy of, like, Chibi Robo, and apparently uh, he's only played it, like, once or something. Uh, something like that. He, he's never played it. Like, I, shit, I want, I want Chibi Robo. He has a Mario Kart Double Dash. Shit, I want Mario Kart Double Dash. He has Kirby Air Ride. Shit, I want Kirby Air Ride. Yeah, unfortunately, I think I waited too long to, uh, to get, to collect all the, uh, a lot of these, uh, GameCube games, because, like, they're really expensive now. Like, I look on Amazon, and, like, Mario Kart Double Dash goes for, like, $150 or some shit. Like, I think I'm gonna have to pay for it if they don't re-release it soon. I, I think they might, but, um, they, they probably should, honestly. Because, like, that's the one that hasn't been re-released yet, right? Like, literally all the others have. Here we go. This might take a while to get through. Ah, damn. No, uh, Double Dash is one of the most popular Mario Kart games ever made. I've never owned it. Like, I've, I haven't played it since, like, I went to a friend's house and, uh, played it there. And I was awful at it, because I, I never played a Mario Kart with, uh, the, with, like, all the stat shit before, with, like, the, uh, the customizable cart, so I had no idea what I was doing, so I, I really embarrassed myself. Uh, yeah, so I don't, I don't own Double Dash. Like, I, I think I've, uh, told this story before, but, uh, my parents, or, or my mother, like, she was, at, she adamantly believed that, like, all Mario Kart games were the same. So, like, she completely refused to buy me, like, new Mario Kart games after 64. So, like, I would ask for, like, Double Dash, no, you already have that. Like, you, I want Mario Kart Wii, no, we already have that. Like, no, no, they're not the same thing, mom. Uh. Like, that's the- I swear that's the only thing she ever did that for. And it, it was so, so fucking annoying. Alright. By the time I, it came out, I just went out and bought it myself. But, uh, as a result, like, I don't actually- It took me a long time to actually get caught up on Mario Kart. Like, as of right now, like, Double Dash is the only one I haven't played. But, like, before then, I didn't own DS, I didn't own 7, I didn't own- I didn't own, uh, Wii. Like, Wii I've only played recently. Um... Uh, Actually, I probably should go back and play DS again because that's that's the one I'm, that's one of the ones I'm most unfamiliar with. Like, I don't think I ever did the the mission mode. Yeah, I think I'll buy DS on a. Uh, is it on the Wii U eShop? I think it is. So I, I think I will go ahead and do that soon. So th that is one of those weird games that like I just don't own. Like I literally own like most Nintendo games, I don't own Double Dash. Like, it's just one of those weird things. Like, and I can't find a copy either. Like, all the copies I saw, like, uh, the couple of years ago, like, they were super, super expensive, and, and they've gotten more expensive now. So, at this point, like, I'm legit hoping for a re-release. Like, they're, they're releasing, like, all the 3D Mario games. Fuck that. Re-release Double Dash. Release Kirby Air Ride. Uh, like, I'm gonna have to, like, take a look at, like, all the, uh, all the GameCube games I don't own, because th there's a bunch of, like, uh, there's a bunch of, like, um, GameCube games I don't own, I think. Like, I, I have, um, Like, I own, like, all the NES games, all the Super Nintendo games, all the Wii and Wii U games, but, like, it's N64, GameCube, uh, DS, and I think Game Boy Advance I'm kind of missing out on. Like, uh, for example, uh, I don't have Castlevania, Order of Ecclesia. I think that's, like, the only game I'm missing in my Castlevania collection. Uh, of my most must-play uh, Castlevania collection. Because, I'm, of course, I'm kind of ignoring shit like, uh... <laughs> I'm kind of ignoring the, the newer games, obviously, but... Oh, yeah, I almost made, like, a video about this, like, while I was waiting for my pizza today. But, uh, yeah, Metal Gear Solid, uh, it's over, isn't it? Like, I know this is kind of off-topic, but, like, now that Kojima's left, now that the, there are no Metal Gear games in production ever again, like, that, that kind of, like, that, that's kind of ended the whole, like, mystique of uh, Metal Gear Solid, hasn't it? Like, it, it's kind of, like, ruined the entire thing. Like, nobody's really all that excited for future Metal Gear projects. Uh, the, the IP is basically dead in the water. Like, you, you have some, like, hardcore fanboys who will, like, um, insist that, like, well, 3 was really good, but... Um, really, it feels like the, uh, the narrative has, like, the, uh, the mindset, like, it, it's, uh, it's lost all of its appeal, like, it's lost its, uh, it's lost its following. Let's see what we go. How do you, how, 
how do you how how do you best beat this bitch? All right. Damn. Well, the GameCube, like, wasn't all that old, like, just a couple of years ago, right? Like, in 2014, like, you could pick up, like, most GameCube games, like, for pretty cheap. But, like, now, yeah, with, with Sunshine being released, I, I think we're about ready for uh, proper re-releases of GameCube games. We got, like, Luigi's Mansion already. So, th there are, like, some things that are being re-released, but, uh... You know what? Like, we're gonna see, like, a lot of GameCube games, like, sell a lot more than uh, a lot of these PS2 games. A lot of these PS2 re-releases, because, like, Nintendo actually, uh... Nintendo didn't milk them, you know what you know what I mean? Like they actually like went ahead and made new things and then uh, re-released them later uh, after they went out of print. Like they don't like they don't just like uh, swamp the shelves with them. They don't like port like Shadow of the Colossus to the PS3 and then remake it for the PS4. Like they don't do that. Like j just once in a while is fine. Like as it stands, like there's a bunch of shit they could remake. Like I I've been talking about like Wario Land, uh, Virtual Boy. Uh, oops, shit. What was the other one I was expecting? Oh yeah, Super Mario Land. Like, lots of Game Boy games, I think, uh, in particular. Link's Awakening they've already done, which was great. So do they come out in, like, any random order? Right. Okay, this one isn't very hard. Yep. Yeah, they don't have that many attacks, so you just gotta learn their moves, I guess. Ah, shit! What is with these little fuckers? Alright. No, I, I just want to fight the boss. I don't want minor enemies jumping at me. I just want to Ah, fuck. Oh, yeah, I don't own a GameCube Animal Crossing. Or Wild World. Um, yeah, City Folk was my first one. Which, uh, which is probably why I'm, like, um, a lot more defensive of it than most fans. Because I, I think most fans, uh, if I never played Wild World, that's probably why I'm not very critical of, uh, City Folk. I didn't really understand that, like, Wild World was, like, literally the same thing. Like, that, that's what people tell me, is that, like, City Folk is just the same thing as Wild World. And, like, Nintendo themselves admitted it, so, uh, I mean, that seems to be something they've gotten away from in, uh, with recent entries, but, uh, I mean, I, I didn't play Wild World, so, like, City Folk was, like, a new thing for me. Oops. Uh, yeah, City Folk is still, like, easily my most played one, I would say. Like, I like New, New Leaf is my favorite, but, like, I I, I, I can't get into the Animal Crossing. I, I can't really, like, obsessively play it. Like, I've tried. Like, I, I max out my house and stuff like that, but it's, like, uh, it's not really my thing. Oops. I mean, I still put, like, 20 hours. I, I no, Not 20, like, hundreds of hours into it, but it's, like, you know, I always feel like I don't really use the game to its full potential, you know what I mean? It, it's a lot like how I feel like about Mario Maker. Like, I like being challenged, I like action games, like, Animal Crossing is just not that. And, which is fine, but, um, you know, that, that's kind of the thing about Animal Crossing. Like, I'm not a big Animal Crossing fan, right? But, uh, I don't begrudge people who really like it, you know what I mean? Like, it's not like, um, not like those, uh, pretendos who get uppity about, like, uh, uh Donkey Kong getting announced rather than a Metroid game. Ah, uh, damn. Remember that? Remember when, like, Shokyo, like, came out? Why does Shokyo always pretend that, like, oh, man, I, I never get upset at Nintendo. But then, like, I, I can ref re reflect on, like, specific moments where, like, he was completely out of line with his, like, oh, man, Nintendo. Oof. How dare they reveal Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze instead of a new Metroid game? It was so dumb. Like, it, it really was. Uh, that whole, like, Tropical Freeze backlash thing was, like, the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. I, I hate Nintendo fa uh, Pretendos, man. I fucking hate them. Alright, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Yeah, I think just... Yeah, I think just staying on the ground and staying over here is fine. Oops. He doesn't have that many attacks, and I can... Oh. What? They have to have... I hate bosses that have, like, multiple minions come after you. Like, fuck the minions, I just want to fight the boss. All right. Oops, ah, shit. All right. No! Yeah, and she pulls out a gun. Ah.
Is this like... This has to be like Willy Wonka's dream woman, right? Like, oof. Oops. Oh, I completely forgot about that. Yep, this is... Oh! If I remember correctly, this is actually one of the ones where... Uh, the homing missile is useful. Alright, here we go. If I'm remembering correctly... Oops, here we go. Shit. Am I even hitting her? Oops, there we go. I can't even pay attention. There's so much shit on the screen. How close was I? Fuck. Oh, yeah. Federation Force was something else. Like, you really do get the impression that, like, uh, Metroid fans are just uh, very salty about their uh, maturity level, I should say, or masculinity. I don't know. The fact that, like, Nintendo dared make this... Uh, it really was, like, Wind Waker Syndrome. Like, people say that, like, that's not the case, because, like, oh, Federation Force was legitimately bad, but no, it, it's really not. Uh, it's a great deal better than Other M, for sure. And the fact that, like, people, like, uh... People, like, shit all over it was uh, kind of disgusting, honestly. Like, remember, like, when they were trying to, like, pretend that, like, uh, the final boss was, like... <laughs> was, like, shitting on Samus Aran as, like, a character? That it was, like, sexist? Like, come the fuck on. And I'm talking about, like, 4, 4chan, right? Like, the people who are, like, dead set against, like, feminism. Like, oh, man, this is misogynistic. Oof. Those people are so full of shit. All right, uh... Yeah, uh, 4chan really has gone downhill. It's really, uh, not worth going on there anymore. Like, right now, I, I sort of go on there to, like, sort of, like, talk about my website and stuff like that and, uh, chill the channel uh, in some respects. And, uh, yeah, I, I get views that way. But it's like, wow, as an actual community, it's a shithole. Like, it's it's all full of, like, really, um, console warriors and just people who hate Nintendo. It's, it's really weird. It's really weird seeing these people, uh, try to pretend there was something wrong with the way that, like, Super Mario 3D All-Stars was handled. Like, OMG, this game is, uh, $60. Uh, that's a ripoff. Like, that's not. Like, what are you talking about? Like, what what is with these people, like, insisting that everything is overpriced? Like, I, I don't... Is it because they're pirates? Like, uh... Are they used to getting everything for free? Shit. Yeah, take that back, man. Uh, I don't know, man. Like, the fact that they obsessively hate Nintendo so much, and, and no other company, like, it, it, it just really, um, it, it's very suspect to me. Like, it, it doesn't come off as, like, genuine. Oops. Uh, like, the board really has gone to shit, and uh, I would encourage people to stop posting there. Oops. Uh... Like, right now, uh, I just want to set up my own, uh, 4, ch 4chan alternative. I mean, in the long term, I would want to do that. Uh, here we go. I haven't beaten this bitch once yet. Alright. I mean, I'm, I'm happy with my website now. I, th I think it's the best thing to do, is just set up your own alternative platforms and, like, uh, talk about, like, the shit, yeah, that needs to be talked about. Talk about, like, keep talking about The Last of Us Part 2. Keep talking about, like, a Naughty Dog, Sony, PlayStation. Like, don't let it be memory hold. Metal Gear Solid. Ooh, I should probably do a blog post on Metal Gear Solid tomorrow, actually. Since I talked uh, I talked about it on stream. That's actually not a bad idea. Uh, but, yeah, like, the gaming community is just full, full of people who are um, very, very, uh, well, they either want to make money or they sort of revolve their entire lives around supporting uh, Sega, Sony, or whatever. Or hating Nintendo, uh, like we've seen. Like, I don't really see any uh, Nintendo fans, really. Um, at least, n not really toxic ones. Like, it mostly, like, they're, they're just autistic, and that, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with being autistic, but it's like, okay. They're not, like, the weird... Weird, like, obsessive, like, everything, everything Nintendo does, everything, like, oof, everything Nintendo does sucks types, you, you know what I mean? Like, like, that's way more annoying to me than, like, any, any Nintendo fanboy. I don't even know what a Nintendo fanboy is, I've never seen one. Like, alright. Like, I don't, I don't believe they exist, oops, here we go. Okay, is that what I should do? Just run around in circles? Oops, here we go. Oops. 
Why is there so much shit on the screen? Alright. Oh, I thought the hands would get me, but no. Oops, here we go. Oh, got her! Bitch. Alright. Bitch. Do people not realize that, like, um... Uh, the 25th anniversary re-release of All Stars was limited to like this is nothing new, like they've done this before. It, it's a limited re-release. Like okay, <laughs> like I, I don't understand what's difficult to understand about that. Like it's a limited re-release of older games. Like what's what's weird about that? Like there, there's absolutely nothing weird about that. Um, If anything, I think it's just gonna uh, propel this this particular game to be one of the most uh, popular this year. I, I think that's the main goal is to, like make this like the best selling uh, this re-release of old games like be the most popular holiday game this year. And I and I do think that's the future is just Nintendo uh, re-releasing old shit and then like old popular shit and then having a uh, and then having like lots of people get hyped for it. Like they did it with the SNES, SNES Classic with the NES Classic and uh, now we're sort of doing it with this. Which, like, I think we're past the point where people will, like, uh, get excited for new things coming out. Like, um... Like, unless you're a brainwashed consumer of sheep, like, you're not... You're not gonna get fired up about Watch Dogs. Nobody's excited about the PS5 or Xbox One. But, like, you know, a re-release of games people actually like, and that you may not have played before, like, that's... That's gonna be very big, I think. And, uh, this seems to be their uh, strategy going forward. Oops. Again, like, what you have to understand is, like, the virtual console approach was, like, very, very sex, uh, successfully damage-controlled by the media. Uh, the, gaming, the gaming press always, like, tried to downplay, like, uh, the virtual console and its strengths. Like, they, they always tried to make it, like, oh, it's, uh, Nintendo's reliant on old games. They're always, they don't release enough of them, they're too expensive, like, they, they, they keep doing this. And, uh, it, it seems like Nintendo is just, uh, <laughs> has uh, found a way around that. Oops. I, I, again, like, I keep seeing the media trying to stir up these old Nintendo controversies, trying to make people, like, get angry about, like, uh, games being re-released or, uh, or things being changed or, uh, certain games being made or certain series not getting supported. And it's not really happening anymore. Like, I don't really see a lot of genuine outrage other than, like, a few obsessive people online from, like, the community at large anymore. Like... Like, uh, groups like NeoGAF are becoming, like, increasingly niche and increasingly, uh, desperate and increasingly, like, toxic. Like, you can't really... Damn! Like, uh... Like, there's only so many times you can, like, see someone on NeoGAF, like, say that, like, Nintendo sucks, uh, that they're re-releasing old games and nothing else, and, like, learn not to take it seriously, because that, that simply isn't true. You know what I mean? Like, shit. Like, NeoGAF is kind of a joke anyway, but, uh... Okay, uh, Lollipop? Oh, why did they come out in different orders? That's probably the thing that's, uh, bothering me the most right now. Why did I call it a Lollipop? It's, like, it's a candy machine, isn't it? Alright. I guess this one's pretty easy. Like, I think I just got- I just gotta memorize all their patterns. Yep, she keeps uh, shaking her fist at me. What is this thing supposed to be, a waffle? No, it's a chocolate bar, I think. Yep, she comes up with a gun. Oops. Oop. I cannot believe I dodged that. Like, I feel like most Nintendo, um, communities are kind of focused on, like, this idea that, like, Nintendo, Nintendo isn't actually good, it's not actually, uh, doing what we want, it's, uh, it's not a good company, but we have to deal with them anyway if we want our Mario and Zelda. I, I mean, that, that, that's kind of the thing, like, it feels really fake, it feels, like, very ungenuine, it feels like a bunch of fans of uh, other video game companies just coming together and trying to, like, 
make this weird, uh, create weird narratives about Nintendo. They only have Mario, Zelda, and Pokemon, which is of course not true. I mean, look, look, look at all the shit I've been playing. Like, when was the last time I played a Mario game? It's, it's been like, you know, I mean, I played like All Stars, right? But like, but it, it's like it's not the only thing I play. You know what I mean? Oh shit! Oh, did I get it? Did I get it? Did I get it? All right, let's see if I got it. Yeah, SNES Online needs more games for sure. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. So I did really, really well. I got a perfect uh, HP. But I haven't been parrying enough. I probably should have been paying more attention to the... Uh, to the things. Oh yeah, be sure to check out my books at blackcatbooks.org. Thank you. Um, let's see. What are people even looking forward to in like the PS5 generation? Like, it's so weird how um, how people will um, insist that like Nintendo can't is no good. They can't compete. Their their consoles and games suck. And then like they have absolutely nothing of their own. Like nothing they're excited for. Like re really nothing. Like at this point, like they're they're still going on about like Miyazaki and. And Kojima and shit like that, like, well, not Kojima, like, they're, they're trying to make Miyazaki into some, like, legendary developer the way they, uh, the way they did with Kojima, right? Like, oh, here's a non-Nintendo developer that people know, let's, uh, let's prop him up, and, uh, I don't, I don't think it's gonna, I don't think it's gonna last, oops. Like, once he, like, deviates from the Souls formula, I think that's gonna be it. Like, I, I could see, like, Elden Ring being the end of it, oops, if it's bad. Like, I don't, I don't, I can't imagine it's gonna compete with, uh, Breath of the Wild. Like, we already saw this with Sekiro, actually. Lots of people... Okay, so you had the hardcore fanboys who were going to accept it no matter what. And then you had, like, people who were critical of the game for not being exactly like Dark Souls. And and that's kind of the... That's kind of the beginning of the end, I think. That, I think that's kind of how uh, Metal Gear Solid sort of began its decline. Where, like, people were obsessively defending uh, bad products. Uh, just because of, like, Kojima and, like, the PlayStation legacy. You know what I mean? Oh, here we go. All right, yeah, I got hit twice. Yeah, anti-consumer is just a buzzword. Why is that? Why is that phrase only used in association with Nintendo? I, n I never see anybody bring that up against uh, Sony, for example. Oops. It's like they co-opted a Gamergate buzzword to sort of, like, mean something it doesn't. Like, Nintendo is against their consumers. Like, how are they against their consumers? Like, it doesn't make any sense. Oops. Everything, like... I, again, like, everything Nintendo does is wrong. So, like, as a result, you can't really, uh... You can't really take their critics all that seriously. You really can't. Uh, and and I, I suppose that's, like, core message is that, like, Nintendo's critics are basically full of shit. About basically everything. Uh, you know, Nintendo Doom since 1886. Uh... And we're kind of seeing this now, uh, Fall Guys, like, the, the narrative right now is that, like, games like fi Fall Guys are some of the most popular in the world, but they're really not. Like, the most popular game in the world right now is Animal Crossing, uh, bar none. Oops, here we go. There we go. Like, I don't understand why, uh, oops. Like, Fall Guys, when Fall Guys, like, stops being popular, and it will, it, it's a flavor of the month game. Uh, once Fall Guys stops being popular, that's gonna be it. It's, oh shit, it's never coming back. Oops, here we go. Like, Animal Crossing is gonna be relevant forever. Like, you you guys are... Okay, oof. I keep making all these weird mistakes. Uh, yeah, talking about, like... Fall... You know, Fall Guys is supposedly one of the best games out right now. Like, one of the best new games out right now. I have no interest in playing it. Like, I'm not, I'm not gonna play it. Like, on Switch... I mean, it's supposed supposedly coming out on Switch. I don't care. Like, I, I don't care. Like, I don't play meme games. I don't play Flavor of the Month shit. Uh, like, I, I'm getting really frustrated with, like, YouTubers and, like, uh, their fans talking about shit like that. Like, oh, man, it's so bright and colorful. Like, no other developer is doing this. Nintendo is. Like, oh, man, it's so popular. Uh, 
Nintendo is popular. Like, it's just... It's dumb. Like, it, it's really, really dumb. Oops. There we go. Okay, I got one. Oh, here we go. One. Oh, shit. Two. Hey, can I shoot her there? No. Oh, does he have balls you can uh, bounce off of? No, it doesn't look like he does. There we go. Yep, there he's go. He's done. Oh, can you bounce off this one? Yeah, you can. Okay, weird, but okay. Oh, wow, that was it? All right. Okay, I think that'd be a, there should be enough counters. I don't get what, what what makes pink objects like the thing you can bounce off of in this game. It's it's kind of weird. It's kind of a weird like arbitrary like thing. Why can't you like do it, do it with that, anything? Oops. What, what what about the color pink makes you able to parry it? Shit. Oh damn! Just barely won. All right. Okay, let's see. Yep, HP. Yeah, super. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Ah. Uh, okay, B plus. Yeah, we're getting there, boys. We're getting there. Like, it's not just beating the boss. We have to. We have to get A rank. So, that, that's kind of our priority right now. A rank on literally everything. But yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying this, uh, playing this again. I, I'm, I'm really anxious for expert mode. Oh, yeah, did I mention how much I uh, I want I want a copy of Super Mar Monkey Ball? Oof. I, I think I did, but that, that, that's been something I've been thinking about lately. Yeah, I'm really, really anxious to get back, to get Super Monkey Ball 1 and 2. Oops. And not Adventure. Honestly, I, I've never even seen, like, a copy of, of Adventure, right? Like, I, I know it came out, but... uh. Like, I remember Nintendo Power bitching about how bad it was, and, uh, oops. Like, Mike Mate, like, came out, like, and said, like, yeah, the first two are great. One of my favorite games, some of my favorite games on GameCube, but, uh, but Adventure is real shit. And, like, that's kind of, uh... Oof. I mean, I can only really imagine how bad it is. Oof. I mean, I, I'm really curious as to whether or not I'm actually going to like Super Monkey Ball, because, you know, I my, my taste and, like, the Sega fanboy's taste, like, they're, they're radically different, dude. I I don't like, like, a lot of classic Sega games. Like, oops. Like, there's very few se uh, Sega games I like, so. Like, Knights I don't like. Oops. Uh. Yeah, Knights is an example. Uh, Jet Set Radio is, isn't great. Uh, I mean, I mean, I, I guess I played it, right? I, I mean, I liked it. Here we go. Uh. Got it. It's been a while since I've played any Sega games. Like, I, I guess my, uh... Oops. Okay, I think that's three. All right. Ah, damn! Just because these guys are running, and you can't always see them... I'm getting hit. All right. Why isn't he dying? I how, how many times have I shot him? All right. Why did that take like forever and a day to do? I, I don't understand. All right. And I just let her throw that at me. <sighs> Okay. Yeah, I think just staying away from this guy is probably my best bet. See what's next. 
I mean, I don't like using the green one because it's so slow, but I don't know. I think it might be better against this boss. Oops, here we go. Shit. I gotta be, I gotta worry about the parries, too. It just, ah, oh, shit. You know, I, I've been playing this for a couple of hours. Maybe I should take a break. Yeah, what else should I play tonight, guys? Uh, the Lost Levels, maybe? Ah, oh, here we go. Yeah, it keeps... Whew. I was doing so well, too, but... Eh, well. Maybe next time. Maybe I could, um... I could experiment with my weapons a bit and maybe find something that's a bit better. All right. So, uh, last time I was playing uh, Super Mario Bros. The Last Levels... I think I said that I was going to beat it on stream next time, and uh, I'm not sure if I'll be able to do it. I'm kind of tired now. I, got, I just got worn out by Cuphead. Yeah, we're, we have four levels to go. Alright, here we go. It's nice being able to just turn on a game and just... I'm really, I'm really growing on, like, digital distribution. I really... I've been playing a lot of games that are just, you know, installed on my Switch. Just because they're there. I don't have to go get them off my shelf or anything. Oops. Shit, oh, here we go. Oh, shit. Oh, no! Shit, oh, there we go. Fuck. Okay, where are we? Ouch! <sighs> no, disappointing. Ah. Oh, wow. Embarrassing. I got so far the first time, and then I die on the first time and the second. Yeah, I, I kind of start paying more attention to chat. I'm sorry. I feel like we had, like, a really good conversation going, like, early on, but then I got, like, really, really focused on the game. It's just, uh... I feel like I, I repeat myself a lot when I'm, uh... When I'm just, like... Just talking about j random shit. Like, oh, I'm so busy, I don't have time for anything anymore. Like, no... Uh, Check out my books at blackcatbooks.org. Like, no, stuff like that. Oh, by the way, like, the book stuff is going very well, by the way. Um, the, the actual shit. Of course, like, the, the, the actual writing is always going well. But, uh, the business side is going very well as well. All right. And it's all thanks to you. Thank you so much. Oops. Uh, thank you so much for reading my books. All right. Ah, damn it. Fuck. I hate it when that happens. All right. Up. Oh. Damn. Yeah, I keep making these weird mistakes. I. Right. I think Cuphead wore me out. Like honestly, like if I wasn't streaming, I probably would like take more breaks. Like I don't normally like sit and like play games for like hours on end. Like normally I do like play for like an hour and then like do something else. Ooh, I need I need to get I need to get back into working out as well. Like, I've been sick lately, and I, uh, I haven't been doing it as I should, but... Oops. Ah, fuck. Oh, yeah, I don't have COVID, by the way. Because I've been complaining about being sick for a while. I think I have, uh, finally isolated the cause. Uh, and it's really fucking stupid, but I, I think I, I have been feeling a lot better over the past couple of days. Oops. No, I don't have COVID. Oops. Fuck. Oh, 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 there we go. Ah, damn! Mm, bullshit. Bullshit, alright. I'm stuck in World 8-1. Uh, right. Alright. This game is hard. Da -da -da -da. All right. I, I would like to beat this. Uh... And then move on to uh, the next game. Nope, there we go. God damn! What, what is with that enemy placement? All right. What is with my inability to reach that jump? Like, it, it depends on where the Koopa Troopa is. Like, if it's not in place, I can't do anything. Like, I just fall into the pit. All right. All right, here we go. Ding, ah, uh, dum, bum, bum. Ah, what? Ah. Uh. I am getting careless. I, 
Oh, what? Oh, no. Fuck. I don't even have the mushroom. All right. Let's see if we can do it. Ah, damn it. Okay. Okay. What am I doing? Wow, I'm getting really careless. I guess I'm a lot more tired than I thought, but I think I can push through. Uh, yeah, I, I definitely need some uh, more recommendations for games I should play on stream, because I can't really... Uh, I've just been playing whatever, but, like, I'm not sure what audiences like to watch, other than, like, meme games. Like, I was thinking, like, you know, I would really like to do, like, Star Fox Adventures or something like that. Honestly, like, I would like to do a retrospective on that game and, like, go over, like, everything that works in that game and doesn't work. Um, like, an edited video. Um, that's, that's been something I've been wanting to do. I, no I noticed that, like, uh, I watched the JonTron one recently, and I, I noticed that, like, he didn't actually uh, get very far in the game. Oh, here we go. Holy shit, I'm, I'm awesome. All right, did you see that? I just I just navigated those things like a crazy motherfucker. All right. Oh, what? Oh, don't tell me. All right. All right. Yep, we did it. We did it. We did it. Three more to go. Three more to go. Three more to go. <sighs> Damn. It's always so satisfying whenever you clear a hard Super Mario Bros. 2 level. Uh, the last level's level. All right. All right, let's see. What's, what the fuck? Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure if there are any mushrooms here, so we might as well uh, race away and uh, try to get through this level. All right. Ah, fuck. Yeah, I love how like this game has like pools of water, and you and it makes you think that like as if you can. What the fuck was that? So if you touch like. So if you touch a poison mushroom while you're hit, like it just goes away. It doesn't do anything. That's hilarious. All right. Okay. Wait, what? Huh? Wait. No. Fucking no. Wait, is this different? Or is this... Wait a minute. I knew it. I knew it. This this is classic, like, Lost Levels bullshit. Like, ugh, I, I hate this stuff. All right. Like, you have to hit the boxes... You have to you have to climb the vine to clear the level like that that is like just pure bullshit. All right. As I recall uh let's see. All right. Let's see if we can do it the in one fell swoop. Oops, there we go. Yep. Oh. Yep, there we go. So you have to come up here like unbelievable. Unless this is actually the way to uh world 1-1. One, one. Yep, that's all you have to do. Wow. Wow. Like, again, this game, like, just tends... This game tends to fuck with you more than, like, anything else. Like, it, it's not difficult, but it has, like, crazy shit that, uh... That, like, really throws you off. Like, poison mushrooms, like, warp zones that take you back to World 1. Like, really just awful shit. That's just... Alright. I I've played through the entire game on stream, right? I, I think I did. But yeah, I think I can. I think I can beat it now. Here we go. Fuck. I think I will beat it tonight. There's no reason not to. And then I'll. Uh, I think I'll go ahead and go back to Kirby's Dream Land Three because I've been. I've been meaning to play that again too. Because like, um, oops. That's one of those Super Nintendo games I still haven't beaten yet. So, I was. Uh, I mean, I have very strong opinions about that one. I really do not like that game at all, but. I am um, I am adamant that I, I have to beat the final boss, the true final boss. Uh, but like as I'm sta standing right now, I think Kirby 64 is better. Like Kirby's Dream Land 2 is better. Like I legit think Dream Land 3 is probably my least favorite in the entire franchise. Like I I despise that game with a passion. But I still haven't beaten it yet, and uh, it's a Super Nintendo game, so I'm kind of obligated to. 
Honestly, like, at this point, like, I think I probably am gonna uh, play every Super Nintendo game that was ever released. I mean, I mean, every relevant one. Like, obviously, I'm not gonna bother with licensed shit, but... I don't know, man. Like, what's the, what's the deal with, like, people hyping up licensed games just for not being shit? Like, there are a couple of Batman games uh, that are okay that people, like, tend to go gaga over just because, like, they're not awful, but... Oops. I mean, I, I kind of felt the same way about, like, Arkham Asylum. Like, okay, it's it's not, like, the worst thing ever or anything, but it's it's not, like, Game of the Year worthy either. Oops. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I was not, I was not a fan of uh, Arkham Asylum at all. Here we go. Oops. Well, I mean, a fan is kind of... Like, I didn't hate the game, right? But at the same time, it wasn't like, okay, this isn't the best game ever made. And then, like, City was worse, and then... Arkham Knight is, like, the worst thing I've ever, I've ever played in my life. Like, I am not exaggerating. I think Arkham Knight might actually be, like, the worst game of uh, this generation. Like, there is nothing I've played that has, like, frustrated me more. Like, that thing is the worst. And, and not enough people, like, shit on it. Like, you gotta be kidding me. Like, it's Hammer Bros. Okay, so it's 8-3, but we're in the sky this time. So, like, you can't even, like, navigate. Like, you don't have the... You don't have the blocks to get around? Like, uh, you've got to be kidding me. All right. Okay, so it's Hammer Bros Country, but with a lack of two. Like, it's even more obnoxious. All right. Okay, let's see here. Oops. Oh, what? What the fuck was that? Wait. There was no platform. All right. I looked before I left, before I, le I looked. Okay. I looked before you leap, I suppose. All right. I was just like, wow, all right. So I got past like four sets of Hammer Bros and then like died to something like that. That's a ridiculous. I, I hate this game. I hate it so much. Who does this shit? Like, it's like a Mario Maker level. It really is. All right. All right. Okay. To be fair, though, like, it does feel like the Hammer Bros are easier to get past in general in this game than it was in the, uh, in the, in the original, so that's, uh, that's kind of nice. Nope. Fuck. <sighs> yeah, I don't know what it is. Like, are they slower? Or is it just the way they're designed? Or, or what is it? Like, they're not the nightmare they are in the original where they're, they're just obnoxious, unbearably, like, ridiculous. Here we go. Yeah, there's something about the way they move. It's uh it's more manageable in this one. Alright. Alright, let's uh oops. Oops. Okay. Ah shit, how do I Uh fuck! Oh wait, what? Okay, so I think you have to like weigh it down and then jump. So I I, I got kind of anxious. All right, yeah, I, I kind of choked there. Well, not really choked. I just kind of didn't do the right thing. All right, so I I think it's manageable. This isn't very hard at all. So like the last levels, this really wasn't as hard as I remember it. I've uh I've officially gotten through like most of it. Fuck, with no real problems. Um, I mean I'm on eight three, so I think I'm gonna beat it. I think I'm gonna beat the game. Oops. Damn, missed it. So yeah, what should I play after I uh, beat the last levels? Uh, I mean, I, I said Kirby Dreamland 3, but I, I probably should play something else. Oops. Damn, I hate how they turn around! And you can somehow just... Alright.
Like, Joe and Mac 3 is on here as well, and I haven't played that at all, so I... Maybe I should go ahead and do that? Oops. Because, like, I'm a big fan of, like, the second one, uh, Congo's Caper, but... Oops. Here we go. Oops. Oops. Ah, shit. Maybe I should just switch to Luigi for this one? Alright. Oops. Yep. 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 Ah, we did it. We did it. Cleared. All right. One more to go. There's one more to go. You know, yeah, Star Fox. Let's play some Star Fox. Uh, it's been a while. All right. 8-4. All right. Oh, holy shit. I remember this one. Like, this one took me forever to beat. Like, I remember getting here and then not being able to clear this level. So, Let, let's see how, uh, how, how easy it comes. Maybe that's part, kind of the problem, is that, like, I remembered all the... I basically avoided all the uh, the beginner traps. Like, is that all this game is? Like, just a bunch of beginner traps? Of, like, just j just doing a bunch of shit that the original game wouldn't do? Like, okay. Damn. Okay. Ah, damn. Okay. So, I officially had, like, I think I had less trouble getting through this level than a, this world eight than I did the original. Oh, well, I mean, maybe that's kind of an exaggeration, but you, you know how it is. All right. Oh, fuck. Really? Invisible blocks with poison mushrooms? Are you serious? Like, poison mushrooms aren't that hard to avoid once you, like, know they exist. Like, I think most people grabbed it thinking it was, like, a legit power-up and not, like, something that immediately killed you. Like, I remember getting that for the first time and, like, realizing, like, holy shit, this game is, a this game is brutal. Oh, oh fuck! Okay. Yep, I'm, ha I'm having a lot more problems with this than I, I thought I would. All right. Don't tell me I'm gonna stop on 8-4. Oops. Am I really gonna let Bowser, <laughs> Bowser kidnap the princess? Good versus evil, no rest. Death Mountain, my quest. All right, I I gotta get back and playing, get back to playing the original Zelda. Like, oof. Oops. Ah, damn. Yeah, the cheap cheap are just fucking me up. Like they're fucking up my timing by just existing. All right. The cheap cheap are the absolute worst. Like they they don't annoy you, but like, uh, and like there's so many other obstacles to worry about. It's like okay, whatever. Shit, I jumped too early. Okay. Yeah, I probably should go ahead and get like Mario Maker out and start playing that on stream again, and like playing some uh, hard levels. Oops. Like, there, there are people who, like, dedicate entire channels to, like, Mario Maker shit, right? So I, I should probably, like, look at some of the harder ones and, like, okay, let's try to beat that. You know, yeah, that, that's a natural next step to go after this. I, I think I will go go ahead and get, like, Super Mario Maker out. Uh, break that out and uh, see how it goes. Because I have not played enough of that game. Like, either of them. And it's, like, one of my favorite things ever. Oops. oops. Oh, wait, What? Wait, it's a it's a maze? Wait. Fucking really? Really? I completely forgot it was a maze. So the last level of this is a okay, damn. I had no idea. I legit had no idea. So you have to go through this ridiculous obstacle course the way you're supposed to, like unbelievable. Like am I supposed to go backwards? Is that it? Okay, I think what you're supposed to do is uh go down this pipe. Going by uh my instinct. Yep, there we go. Yep, I knew it. Wait, is there a... Nope. That, that felt like there would be a... a... Mushroom there. Knowing this game, there aren't any mushrooms anywhere. Like, no mushrooms allowed in this castle. Yeah, this was so hard back in the day, but I think I've got... I think I've just gotten better at the game. Like... I, I do remember struggling with this a lot, so it's like, okay. Yeah, check this out, yep. Fuck. It's 
So how do you how do you reverse jump? How do you reverse jump? Do you have to like jump high and then go back? Well, let me experiment with that. Yeah, you can reorient yourself and then okay, that's how you do it. So I just didn't jump high enough, okay. Oh, oh fuck. Yeah, this game, is, this game is full of all kinds of crazy bull crap. All right. So I can beat this. I can beat Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. What, what are some other, like, really hard Nintendo games? Like, now that I've beaten Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, I have no idea what to do with my life. I've been, like, trying to fill that void in my heart of, like, just struggling to beat some hard Nintendo challenge. Like, I guess I could, like, legitimately beat Ninja Gaiden, but... Uh, I mean, that, that's just, like... That just takes time and effort, right? Like, once you beat, like, one phase, you can, like, just play through the game over and over and over again until, like, you get to the boss again. Like, it's doable. It's just most people don't realize that, uh... I, I guess I probably could beat the original Ninja Gaiden. Uh, I'll, I'll have to, like... I'll have to try it. Okay, let, let's try this again. All right. Yeah, you have to wait until the, uh, the thing comes up. Time it, and then... Oh, fuck! I hate this jump. I hate it. Like, this is the thing that sticks out my mind the most in this entire game. Like, th this is the thing I just can't nail. All right. Ah, damn. Okay. Well, I'm getting there. I, uh, I know what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm my way, Inkling. All right. <laughs> yeah, I love how, like, bloopers have become, like, the Inklings now. They really do. They look exactly like them in this game. Like, I can't get over that. All right. Yeah, Splatoon, you're not going to be a thing for years. Oh, fuck! Uh, like, I'm going to have to practice the jump. Like, okay, so how do you do it? You're supposed to... So do you have to jump out and then just come back? Do you have to jump as high as you can and then... Okay, I think... Okay, jump as high as you can, and then you'll be able to come back. All right. Damn! So I made all the jumps, but I got hit by the piranha plant. Like that's one of the reasons I'm so anxious about like uh, making the jump because there's a piranha plant everywhere. Like, uh, like that motherfucker earned his place in Smash Bros. Alright, here we go. Okay, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Oh, fuck. Okay, uh, okay, I'm gonna wait, jump up, and then, okay. What happened, what, what happened? So it's like, do you have to get the... So, like, I'm literally breezing through this entire level other than this one fucking jump. Like, it's literally, like, the bane of my existence right now. Right. Alright. Okay. Oh, maybe you don't need to jump. Maybe you just have to... Got it. Okay. So don't run at it. Okay. Easy. I knew it. 
Too good to be true. All right, let's uh, wait a bit. Out of my way, you dipshit. All right. Oh, fuck, another one? No! Ah! Uh, they're everywhere. Two of them in, like, back-to-back. -back. Come on. All right. Now just look at the way I'm like breezing through this easy level. Like shit. Lost levels more like uh, the past levels. Alright. Alright. This is the hardest Mario game in history. It's nothing to me. Oof. I mean to be fair, I, I'm, I've gotten to the point where like I've beaten a lot of like really, really notoriously difficult NES games. Like I can beat Mike Dyson. I can do uh, lots of stuff like that. Alright. Okay, you jump forward and then come back. There you go. So you have to jump twice to lure out the piranha plant and then do it again. All right. Wait, can you jump on the squids? Wait, what? What the fuck? Wait, what? Oh, you can't jump on the squids. Okay. I take that inkling. Uh, okay, I think it, it has to make you go up, right? Oh fuck! Nope. Below. Yeah, I'm gonna be going around in circles for hours at this rate. Oh wait, but I have a timer. Yeah, that's right. I'm on a strict timer. Eesh. And it's uh, going down all the time. Ugh. Okay, so I think if I just go above, I, I think that has to be it, right? Oh, lightning's going out across outside the window. That's awesome. I love the I love the atmosphere. Oops, here we go. Oh, here we go. That's right. That's what I normally did. I uh, okay. Yeah, I jumped right away. You can jump right through it. Okay. Yep, like that. Like a boss. That's the easiest way to do it, I think. I mean, I make it look so easy, but it probably takes a lot of skill, but, I mean, I'm so skilled, it doesn't matter. I mean, you just have to get good at games to, uh, to win a lot of times. Alright. I don't know, how, how much do people, like, normal people struggle with this game? Because I guess I'm just, you know, one of the best gamers in the world right now, so. Alright. Like, I'm not saying that to brag. I mean, when I'm like 5%, when I'm like one of 5% of people who will, uh... Alright, here we go. I mean, when you're playing like the hardest Mario game ever made and like easily winning, it's, uh... Oops. Oh, fuck. Is the, the squid gonna fuck with me? Help. Oh, wow. Yeah, I fucked that up. Okay, so I think you just gotta get the momentum and you gotta get the height. So I, I think it's, uh, I, th I just gotta get the, uh, the timing down. I mean, I, I expect it's gonna be easier than that fucking jump, for sure. Oops, there we go. Yeah, I don't think I ever figured out how to hit that jump. I think I just did it by luck. And then I just sort of beat the level after that. <laughs> Like, how long is this level, anyway? Yeah, let's get away from me, squid. You're terrified of me. Like, I don't understand this game's logic and having, like, squids being in, uh, open air area, um, areas like this. Like, out in the open, like, out of the water. Alright, let's, uh... Yeah, if I could just go back... Okay. All right, here we go. Let's kill that guy. Okay. Uh, okay, so I think what I gotta do is I gotta jump. Really? Fucking really? That's not the right path? So then does that mean 
below? I didn't even bother trying below because I just thought it was. I just took it for granted. So I pulled that awesome stunt for nothing. All right. Okay. Wait, what? I've literally gone every single path. Like, wait, what other path is there? You've got to be kidding me. That's all I had to do was down here? Wait. No, did this take me back to the... Is this the same area? It better not be. Holy fucking shit. If I don't see Bowser after getting out of this, I'm going to be pissed. Wait, what the fuck? Wait... Yeah, I'm running out of time. So, why exactly does the, uh... Why does the error message play, no matter where, where you go? Like, the pipe takes you back, which is uh, not what you want. Uh, obviously, but... Oh, fuck! I missed my jump. So the pipe takes you back... Okay, we're, we're going to have to figure this out. Oops. Yeah, I think it's just going to be trial and error. Uh, until, figure, until we figure out how uh, exactly this works. Oops. Yeah. Hey, I was on the other half of the level so long, I forgot how to get past the first part. All right. Okay, let's try this again. Ah, damn! Okay, this is this is just embarrassing. All right. Got a whole Super Mario 64. All right. There we go. Got it. Okay, so we got to figure this out. Oops. Oh. Yeah, out of my way. So don't press down here, uh, no matter what. Fuck. All right. So not only do I not know where, which direction you're supposed to go in, I'm not exactly sure what... Fuck. Not only am I not sure exactly what direction you're supposed to go in, but I'm not sure... All right. I can't even get down there consistently. I can't even get through it consistently. All right. But I think, uh, I will practice makes perfect. Oops. Yeah, I got a little bit careless there. That blooper almost got me. Okay. Oh, damn. All right, fucked up. Okay. Uh, Oops, okay. Was that there in the original? I don't think it was. Okay, but okay, we'll see here. All right. Yeah, 
how did I get up there the first time? Well, it, it didn't work when I did it, though. That's the thing. Uh, it gave me the error message, so I'm not sure what... And this is like, unless you're supposed to like go through another path, and this is supposed to be a dead end, which would be ridiculous. Uh, I don't know when this game like gives you like a really, really brutal like, um, I don't know, warp, go back to world one like sort of thing. Like, it, it'll let you know. Like, it won't like linger on it. I, I think there's a way ahead. All right. I mean, look at the way I'm, like, zooming around the screen. Like, I've, I've become a better Mario player because of this shit. All right. Okay. I was like, I was thinking that like, well, maybe you can just run across it. Oh, no. <sighs> Who designed this fucking game? It's like, ah. It's like one of those games where you're just like, eh. Curse you. All right. Curse you, developers. All right. Ah. One of my favorite games ever. Alright. Yeah, I don't think this is anyone's all-time favorite game, but... I don't know, I, I could be wrong on that. Uh, I imagine most people who played All-Star as, like, much of her 3. You know what I mean? Because 3 is, like, you know... I mean, a game isn't just being difficult, you know what I mean? Like, it has to have, like, a bunch of uh, new ideas in it. And three, I think, uh, manages to do that better than this. Like I said, I, I feel like this is the by far the weakest of the of the collection. Like I, I see this as like an expansion to one. I don't see it as like a true sequel. Like it's new Super Luigi U before New Super Luigi U was a thing. Oh, by the way, New Super Luigi U is fucking awesome. Okay, let's see here. Okay, I think I'm gonna... <sighs> so it gave me the error message. Why? Like, what What about that is wrong? Like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm doing a cool trick. What, what exactly do you have to do to win? All right. Damn, this is like... Oof. This is harder than impressing an Asian parent. Like, shit. All right. Fuck. Fuck. Yeah, we got to the very end. We are not giving up. I am playing this for three hours straight if I need to. Like, I am going to do this. All right. Yeah, maybe I should play some Ninja Gaiden. That, that sounds really good. It's been a while. A year or so. And uh, it is one of my favorite NES games. So, yeah. And I do want to beat it legitimately, so. Because, like, previously, I, I've typically always used save states. To, to deal with the final boss, you understand. So, uh. To be fair, the final boss is really, really cheap, so. Uh, I would like to do it, like, legitimately, though, so. I, I've become, like, very anti-save states in, in recent years. Like, you never really beat the game if you use them. Oops. Like, it's so different than using a game, Jamie. Alright, here we go. Okay, let's see here. Alright, let's... Wait, what? So, 
You have to land on that platform? W what sense does that make? That doesn't make any sense. Well, okay, whatever. Are you got What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this room? All right. No! <sighs> yeah, I was getting psyched up for like a crazy ass jump and I completely botched it. All right. I don't remember that room at all. I think I must have passed it like the first time. Like normally when I don't remember something, I like I just cleared it really easily. Like that that room uh later on with like that weird jump that I hate, like uh, used to hate. I, I think I got it now, but uh, I remember that because I, I couldn't nail it as a kid, or, or or when I was younger, when I first played this. Oops. Yeah, yeah. I never, I never. Yeah, I have been playing this game for a while. Come to think of it, since I was like twelve or so. Yeah, the Super Mario Bros. Deluxe um, is the first game I I own for own that died on me. Like it legit does not work anymore. Like, I think I, I bought, like, another copy of that. That died, too. But now I have the 3DS version, so I'll have that until the, the, the 3DS dies. Yeah, 3DSs don't last. It's it's kind of a shame. Oh, here we go. Fuck! <sighs> uh, Super Mario Bros. 2 is really good. I'm a big fan of that game. Oops. I mean, obviously, 1 and 3 are better, but... Uh, I mean, it's still better than, like, uh, God of War 2018, Horizon Zero Dawn, Spider-Man... PS4, uh, Uncharted 2, uh, The Last of Us Part 2, uh, the new Jack and Daxter, uh, basically anything Sony's ever put out. Yeah, Sony has been like making games for 20 years, and they're still uh, they're still nowhere, nowhere near level, Nintendo's level. Like it's baffling how uh, how big the the gap in quality is. Like, other than, like, hardcore Sony fans who, like, insist that, like, uh, Sony is, like, the best developer ever, like, no, nobody feels that way. No, like, it's all about the Mario. Mario, Zelda, Metroid, shit. Fire Emblem, I think. Fire Emblem, I think, is gonna really, um, appeal to older people eventually. Like, once, the, like, the fan base gets older, like, that's gonna be a series that's gonna be ripe for, like, darker stories. I'd argue it's already kind of happening. Yeah, I'm really anxious for uh, Fire Emblem to uh, outstrip Persona in uh, popularity, which I think is uh, well on the way to happening. Like, how long can people like really like obsess over Persona Five and its cast? Like, really, I, I don't think it's it's gonna last. It I think it's died down a lot already. Actually, meanwhile, like Fire Emblem is uh, getting new entries all the time. By the time Persona Six comes out, I think Fire Emblem will be far more popular. Hard to believe how easily I'm hitting this jump now. Okay. So what the fuck did I do on this jump? What? So what was the deal here? Like, so do you jump on the platform to that thing, or what? What's the deal? Hey, what? What? Wait, how did I... What the fuck? Wait. Wait, what the fuck did I do? Wait, how does this work? What? Isn't that what I did last time? Wait. Am I misremembering it? Wait, what the fuck is happening? Wait. This can't be happening. Uh, I'm going full like insane. All right. Or do you have to kill the Koopa? In Wait. I didn't press down! What are you doing? No, go back! You piece of... No, I did not press down. Fuck you. Okay. Okay. Do you have to jump on the Koopa and then... What's the deal? Wait. Wait. 
what, what, what's the deal here? Do you have to jump on the Koopa and then fall down? Is that it? Like, do you have to... I think that's what I did, actually. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that's what I did. I jumped on the Koopa, and then that does it. So, do you have to kill the Koopa, or do you have to jump off it? You have to jump off the Koopa and land on that very particular platform. Like, that that's crazy. All right. If that if that's that is that is the case, like I legit did it by accident. If that's true, but all right. I thought I thought I just had to stand there for a while or whatever, but no, you have to jump on the turtle and then. That's a donkey joke, isn't it? Like Mario Two game of the year every year. Does he hate Mario Two? Like I know he makes fun of Knack because it sucks, and you know. <laughs> I am so grateful, eternally grateful for Donkey for making a. Shit, it dunking on Knack a meme because I really think that game would have been memory hold if uh, if he hadn't been there to uh, to like point out like the crazy shit that was going on when it came to like promoting that game. All right, like it outsold Mario Three. No, it fucking didn't. Okay, so I think if I jump off the turtle, how are you supposed to jump on the turtle and then land on the platform? Like, it doesn't make any sense. All right. That shit. Oh, is that really? Hmm. All right, we'll see if we can get it. Yeah, I have no idea where any of the mushrooms are on this game. I just brute force my way through everything. I can look at the way I play this. Uh, right. That is some crazy shit right there. At this point, I could probably be a speedrunner. Like, shit. Like, yeah, this, this, uh, this part of the game is nothing to me. But I can't beat the next room. All right. So there's a mushroom here? Is it... As I recall, it's here, right? Yeah. I completely forgot about it until you mentioned it. Oh, is that gonna fuck up my uh, my jump though? Like I would hate to like work to fuck up my momentum or something like that. All right, here we go. Yep, yep. All right. Uh, oops. Ah, fuck. Right, here we go. So, is the mushroom gonna help me get through this? Uh, I doubt it, honestly. So you have to, don't tell, you seriously have to jump off the mushroom. Okay, so maybe you have to get on top of the top platform and then drop down. Uh, let, let's try to do that. Uh, but that doesn't make any fucking sense. It really doesn't. Like, it's just, it's the most insane thing I've ever seen in my life. All right. No, fuck you. Yeah, fuck you, you poison mushroom piece of shit. All right. Damn, I cannot believe I survived that. Like, that is one of those situations where I'm just like, holy shit, I think I'm gonna die. Oops, alright. I have 140 seconds left. I am so fucked. I am so fucked. I am not gonna be able to clear this. Oh, fuck. Yep, I got to clear this. Well, to be fair, I'm running out of time. I don't have time to be worried about this turtle. Oops, hang on. Let, let's test that. Hang on. Yeah, let, let's not cheat. Yeah, that was my first instinct to cheat, and then I was just like, wait a minute, what am I doing? Yeah, I want to beat this game legitimately. All right. Like, this is such a weird setup for, a for like, a puzzle. Like, so you have to jump on top of the top platform, presumably, and then jump back down, and then... Jump back up again? I just... Uh, why Why does it need to be a puzzle? Just let me move ahead. All right. Like, I got past your stupid room. All right. To be fair, the room would not be that hard if it wasn't for this fucking puzzle, but... Okay. Okay. Did 
Oops. Maybe there's a way up there? Like an invisible block or something? No. Nope, nothing. Nope. Ah. Uh. Do I have to jump with? Does the super mushroom actually make this harder? Like, I think it might act. It might actually. I might have to like do a dunk jump or something. Like get up there. All right. If I have a super mushroom, Oops. but I want the mushroom for like Bowser, right? So, like, if I had a super mushroom, I'll just be able to run past Bowser and I'll be no problem. Oops. Yeah. Out of all the things they could do, they didn't really change the Bowser fights all that much in this. I don't think. I, it really does just feel like a mission pack sequel. All right, here we go. Yeah, how many times have I done this? Yeah, this game is getting way out of control. It's taking over my life. You are everything to me. You are tearing me apart. I, I can't do the voice. I'm sorry. Yeah, I watched the room for the first time all the way through. Well, not really watched it. I put it on in like the background, and like I, I didn't realize there was like actual titties in that movie. So like I just had it on, and then like it started going, um, and I was just like, ooh, <laughs> I don't normally watch movies with titties in them, and I'm just like, ugh, kind of uh, surprising. All right. I mean, people make fun of that movie so much, you would think that, like, people would talk about that. Alright. Like, I didn't think they actually showed anything. Alright. Uh, but alright. Okay. Uh. Ah, fuck. Fucked it up. Ah. Uh, okay. Nope. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll have to pay more attention to that movie for sure next time. Because that was my big thing with The Room, is that, like, eh, I'm not with anyone, I just have it on, I'm not watching it, I'm not paying attention to it. Fuck. <sighs> I mean, it kind of takes, like, a couple of viewings to, like, really get into it, I think. Like, I'm told, like, the initial test audience didn't like it at all, right? And now it's, like, now it's, like, a really popular movie. Oh, fuck. Ugh. Alright. Yeah, I've been watching, like... I've been trying to get through, like, all my uh, my backlog of, like, uh, cartoons and shit. Like, I have a copy of, like, the complete season, uh, the complete series of, like, the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon. I've been watching it, like, casually, and I like it, but I, I just can't. I just can't sit through that. Like, honestly, like, I have trouble sitting through the shit I like. You know, like, One Piece, I'm, like, you know, 800 episodes behind. Like, shit. Like, it's getting really difficult for me to keep up with that stuff. To be fair, I'm, like, I'm a creator myself, so it's, like, okay. Like, a lot of times I'd, like, read something and I'm just, like, eh, I can do this better. Okay. Can I jump off the squid as well? Maybe it'll give me extra momentum. Stop fucking with me, squid. All right. Oh. The error message didn't go off. So do you think I could, like... Now, why do the things disappear when you get a... When you get an error? Alright. Oh, what... What the fuck was that? Okay. That was exactly what we were supposed to do, right? In the... How exactly are you supposed to do it? What is the trick? Like, how are you supposed to proceed through this? 
Like, we thought it was the... Okay, so we, we can confirm that. You don't bounce off the turtle and land on that platform. That doesn't work. So, do you have to get on top of the top platform and then drop down? Is that it? Is that what we did? I don't remember. I really don't. Stay low? Does it really stay low? Oh, I should have gotten the Super Mushroom. I completely forgot about the Super Mushroom. Uh. Oops. Da! What the fuck? I lost to a I lost to a turtle. Unbelievable. Alright, I'll, I'll try to stay low. Does it really stay low? Like, I, I tried staying low and it doesn't work. Is there a trick to it or what? Yeah, I, I gotta get my multi-stream enabled. I need to I need to start streaming on Twitch more. I mean, I like streaming on YouTube. The thing is, like, whenever I do, I'm just like, eh, I could be streaming on Twitch instead. Especially when I'm doing, like, uh, gaming streams. It's like, you know, Twitch is made for this shit. Oops. I don't know, like... I usually, like, try to divide my audience on uh, different platforms and just give them what they want. But, uh, I don't know, with YouTube, I'm, like, doing a bunch of different shit. And, oof. All right, here we go. Okay, stay low. So, like, do you mean, like, you have to, uh... Did I just do it wrong the, uh, the first time? Okay, so, uh... Was that low enough? Oops. What the fuck? How did that work? What, what happened there? Alright. Alright, let's, uh... I mean, I, I did that before and it didn't work. Does anybody remember when I did that and it didn't work? Right? Am I am I insane? Am I am I making shit up? I, I don't think so. Because, like, it's why I didn't do it. Like, because I did it once and it didn't work. So I was doing that trick. Oh, here we go. There we go. Got it. Holy fuck! I, I legit didn't think there was a single mushroom in this level. And here I am finding two. Alright. Alright, I have all the weapons I need to beat Bowser and uh, save the princess. Oh, what the fuck? The final boss is different? Wait, was that a fake Bowser? Wait, what the fuck was that? Wait. Wait. Yeah, fuck you, Bowser. We did it! We beat the lost levels! We beat the lost levels. Oh man, we're back in the cage. We have our super mushroom. Oh man, we did it. We did it. Oh, dude. Damn, that sweet melody. Oh. Thank you, Mario. The kingdom is saved. Now try a more difficult quest. Wait, there's a there's a harder version of the lost levels. 9-1? Oh, it keeps going? Okay, so did I ever beat this game then? All right. So yeah, there. So this version of the game does have the extra levels. Okay, I didn't think it did. I don't think I ever saw this. <coughs> okay, so did I never actually beat the All Stars version of this? I must have beaten like the deluxe version of it. Instead, uh, which I think one of the versions of this game did cut out the, uh, the extra content, so. What the fuck, a flagpole underwater? Yes, we did it, so, uh, yeah, so we beat it, uh, but the game continues, apparently, and, and since it's, like, new content, I might as well, like, get, get all the way to the end. So I actually have no idea how long it goes, like, there are, like, 11 worlds, right? Like, I'm going to say 11 or 12. It's something like that, right? I completely forgot there were, like, extra levels in this shit. Oops. Oh, fuck. Yeah, we'll have to see how far this goes. So, yeah, I guess we will keep streaming this. 
until we get to the very end. Oof. I know, are, are these levels easier or harder than the rest of the game? Because, like, the first one was pretty easy, but alright, we'll have to see. Yep, here we go. Here's the ending. Are they all underwater? Is this, are these, like, joke levels? Yeah, that might explain why they removed them if they're not very good and that they're just sort of there. 9-3. They might just be weird levels. Wait, what the fuck is with this music? Yeah, I, I've never seen this shit before. Like, I knew there were, like... Um, I knew there were different, um, there were extra levels in, uh, in this game, but I, I thought it was, like, in the original release only. I thought they removed it for the international release, but okay. So I actually have no idea what to expect. Wait, what the fuck? Okay, there we go. Uh, thank you, Mario's face. What is with this music? Lava. <laughs> These assets look super out of place. You can't even do this shit in Mario Maker. Alright. Uh, what the fuck? And now Bowser's coming at you? In 9-3? A little bit early, aren't you? Oh yeah, yeah, I'm a big Beautiful Joe fan. It, it's been a while since I played. Uh, last time I tried, it was like, eh, I don't really feel this right now. Last time I played it, I, I beat it on adult for the first time ever. So like, I, I think I'm kind of burned out on it, actually. Because, like, I, I basically mastered the game. Uh, it, it's kind of a shame, but, I mean, I should have beaten it a long time ago. I mean, I'm definitely a, I'm definitely a fan. I like it a lot, but... I mean, I liked it a lot. I, I suppose it's one of those, like, really, really good games that I just can't get into. I mean, I mean, I can't get into anymore because... Yeah, this is a lot easier than... This is a lot easier than the rest of the game. Like, why are these even here? So yeah, we, we might as well like clear everything and just show it off on stream, but... but A1? Oh, so it doesn't go up to 10. So it goes to, so like you have four more worlds after this, so there are five extra worlds, okay. There has to be a mushroom here somewhere. I mean, the levels are like weird as fuck, so that's kind of, uh, that's kind of novel, but... The actual difficulty of them is just weird. I, I don't... It feels like an early... Is it just me, or does it feel like the special worlds in Super Mario World, where it's just a bunch of random shit that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense? Uh, oops. To be fair, like, the special world is probably better than this, though. All right. Ah, damn. Yeah, I'm not sure I'll be able to beat, like everything in the game tonight. I think I am going to take a break. I think I want to get back to Dragon Quest and probably snack a little bit. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to keep streaming, but like, I, I, I legit just don't play video games constantly. I, I mean... Like, if I could make like money doing it, right? If I could uh, monetize my, con uh, my channel content and get Super Chats and stuff like that, like, yeah. Yeah, I would be able to do it, but... Oops, that's a while away. I gotta get that YouTube partnership. Oops. YouTube or Twitch partnership, I suppose. Or both. Here we go. I don't know, man. Like, seeing, seeing like, the amount that some people make on YouTube is, like, insane. Oops. Like, I think Nick Ricada made, like, a quarter of a million dollars on Super Chats alone. Like, that's on top of, like, everything else he makes. Oops. Fuck. I mean, I'm very happy with... Oh, you've got to be... Can oh, wait, uh... I thought that was blocked off. Okay. I'm very happy with what I'm making, but like it's one of those situations where like, eh, I gotta I gotta be more successful. Oops. Oops.
They ha that was one of my uh, primary goals was to be like super, super significantly more successful than like all of my peers. And uh, that hasn't... Um, I I'm doing better than basically everyone who uh, came from my uh, financial background, right? Basically everyone, but like a lot of the rich kids uh, are uh, still doing better than me simply because they, they started off uh, with a lot more. So, um, so I haven't eclipsed them yet, but I'm hoping to do so in the next 10 years. Oops. Oops. Ugh. Yeah, I think these are just beta levels. They feel way they feel way different than the rest of the game. Whoops. I mean, it's kind of neat, but uh, I don't know. I don't know why Peach called it like a more difficult quest. This isn't more difficult. It's just it's just weird bullshit. I can see why like people don't really uh, like these levels very much. I've heard people like say they're not very popular, and I wasn't exactly fired up about playing them when I beat the game the first time. But I mean, I, I might as well play them all once just to see like what it is. All right. What it's like. Oh, here we go. Oh, fuck! Damn it! Fuck! I mean, the, P the PlayStation brand isn't doing as well as they want you to think. They're, they're really not. So, like... Like they're desperate, like to keep up the uh, the image of like success, but uh, I, I don't know. They're not going to be able to compete with Nintendo. I mean, they're not really now, honestly. Like people are way more fired up about the Switch than they are the PS Five. Oops. What the fuck? Wait. I hate this shit. Like I, I think at this point it's just a matter of like uh, the public sort of like accepting the fact that like you know Nintendo is better than the competition. And, like, right now, we sort of had to deal... Well, in the Wii U days, it felt like we had to deal with, like, a bunch of, like, uh, butthurt, angry Sega and Sony fanboys. But, like, th those people are getting older, man. Like, uh, the amount... Like, you know, I've changed a lot over the years. Uh, Review Tech USA has changed a lot. Uh, angry Joe has changed a lot. Like, uh, th these people can't, like... Like, go out and, like, um, keep the narrative off... Keep the spotlight off of Nintendo forever. Like eventually, like they're gonna, they're gonna do something that wins them over. They're they're too difficult. They're too like w talented of a gun of a company, right? Like it's frustrating for me, like seeing um, seeing game reviewers talk all this shit. Like, oh, where are all the good RPGs? Uh, they're on Nintendo. Well, I meant on PlayStation. Well, why don't you buy a Nintendo? Like it's it's just uh. like imagine how ridiculous it would be for someone to like. Ask for a new Xeno Gears when like Xenoblade is a Nintendo owned property. You, you know what I mean? Like the same people are making a new IP under Nintendo. Like, um, but no, people would rather back Kickstarters. They would rather uh, they would rather support like Hideo Kojima. They'd rather get hyped up over Death Stranding. Oops. Oh, by the way, uh, Death Stranding did bomb. Uh, I have confirmation of that. Uh, it has gone on sale on PC like uh, just a couple of weeks after launch. It is a disaster. Um, and, like, again, a really good example of how, like, every every major flop the PlayStation has, like The Last of Us Part Two, Knack, uh, Death Stranding, they're all memory hold. They're all, like, forgotten. Like, people just mysteriously don't talk about, like, PlayStation failures the way they talk about, like, uh, perceived Nintendo failures, right? Like, the Wii U uh, is a good example. Like, it's weird to me how people will, like, still dwell on the Wii U like, years later, right, while um, the PS3 and all of its problems are have basically been completely forgotten. Like, it, it's really, really telling. Oh, the Vita as well. Like, if anything, like, the way the fans, the way the media talks, like, the media, the the, the Vita is, like, one of the best consoles ever. But it, but it's but it isn't. Like, I legit, like, like, I, I had, I knew someone. Oh, did I jump over that flagpole? Uh, I knew someone who, like, recently bought a Vita and, like, was buying all the games they wanted for it and was like, yeah, this is shit. Like, this is pure shit. 
like not like the Wii U at all, which is getting like the Switch is basically subsisting, subsiding almost entirely on like Wii U ports. Like people make fun of it, but it's true. Like the Wii U had a really, really strong library in spite of what the gaming media tried to say about it. Like Pikmin 3, New Super Mario Bros. U, uh, Super Mario 3D Land, uh, Nintendo Land. Remember when the media tried to pretend that Nintendo Land was bad and then it turned out to be like the greatest party game ever? Like, well, not the greatest, but a really good one. Like, honestly, I, I'm anxious for a Nintendo Land, too. Like, the media tried so hard to, like, downplay all these great Nintendo games. Star Fox Zero, Devil's Third, uh, Fatal Frame Five, uh, Tokyo Mirage Sessions, uh, among others. Uh, the Wonderful 101. Funny how, like, uh, the media... People were, like, excited about the Wonderful 101 port to other consoles. The Kickstarter. People supported the Kickstarter more, Kickstarter more than the actual game. Like, the Kickstarter was just... I, I legit that was mostly... Be, I legit think that was mostly because, like, uh, to try and encourage Platinum to not develop uh, Nintendo exclusives anymore. Like, oh, if, uh, you need money for uh, PlayStation games? We'll, we'll give you the money. We'll Kickstart it. Um, that's probably the mindset they have. And, and that's kind of the era we're in now, where, like, a lot of these niche developers aren't getting the support they need, so they're just going to Kickstarter to uh, continue making their terrible PlayStation games. Uh, oops, fuck. Yeah, third parties really don't want N Nintendo to succeed because th because they know like uh, again like uh, Nintendo makes money off of every Switch game sold even if they don't Nintendo games sold even if they don't manufacture it themselves develop 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 it themselves so uh, <coughs> <coughs> so for example if uh, Skyrim sold like thirty million units on Switch um, that would be thirty million units in worth of sales in Nintendo's pocket. Like, Bethesda would make money off of it, too, obviously, but then Nintendo would turn around and, like, make Breath of the Wild and, uh, and uh, completely just destroy everything Bethesda built up. Like, third parties can't compete, and they, and they know this, so they're, they're desperate to, like, make Nintendo go third party, and it's not really working. It, literally, Nintendo, like, took on the entire industry and won. Like, it's been, like, a really, really tough, like, couple of years, right? Uh, but, but they have, like, pulled through, and they have, like, succeeded... They have, they have like, uh, their dedicated audience. They have, like, uh, caught on in the mainstream. Uh, uh, they, they basically managed to, like, dispel the, uh, the propaganda and the myths about them. Or rather, not, I mean, not really. I mean... Nintendo basically outlasted Sony. That, that's what they tried to do. Like, Sony tried to, like, outspend them. They spent all this money on marketing on uh, getting third parties to stop supporting Nintendo hardware. Uh, they, they did all this stuff to fuck over Nintendo in the short term, right? But uh, it, it doesn't work in the long term, right? Eventually, Nintendo adapted. They they bought new studios, uh, Monolith Soft and, and things like that. Uh, studios that wouldn't that made completely different games than they traditionally made, and now they're doing... Now plenty of, like, niche franchises are uh, being supported on Switch. All right. Okay. I really wish eight was the was the end. I can kind of see why people don't like these levels. Uh, yeah, I, I'm just gonna go like go ahead and say if you play this, you basically beat the game at like World Eight. To be fair, I stopped playing at like uh, Super Mario Bros. after I beat it too. I didn't bother with like the second quest. I mean, why why would I? It just has like harder enemies. Like, oh no, you can't fireball the, uh, the Koopa Troopers. There are Buzzy Beetles now. Uh, like, wh what are all the changes in the second quest of Super Mario Bros.? Like, they, they changed the Koopa Troopers to, like, be fireproof Buzzy Beetles, but I, I can't think of what else. It, it's been a while since I played it, actually. Um, and I think I only played it for Deluxe for, uh, for, like, completion purposes. Because you, you need to do it on Deluxe to, uh, get an achievement. Oops. Yeah, Deluxe's achievements are, like, the greatest thing ever. I, I, I can't. I can't, like, em emphasize that enough. All right, here we go. Here we go. Shit. Asshole. All right. Fucking asshole. Oh, here we go. Did we do it? We, did we do it? World A2. Here we go. Yep, we did it. We did it, boys. 
I got a one up. Wow. Okay. World A2. All right. World A3. Uh, yeah, I wonder how long is it going to take to get through. Oh, whoops. Hang on. We're stopping. Yeah, if anybody has, like, any really hard uh, NES games... Oh, yeah, I need to play Battletoads. Like, I, I do own Battletoads. Uh, that's probably going to be my thing going forward, uh, now that I've beaten Mike Tussins. But what the fuck was that? That was easy. That wasn't a level. That wasn't a Mario level. What the fuck was that? Okay, so Battletoads, I think, is on my list. Uh, I mean, there might, uh, probably a lot of obscure NES games, actually. But yeah, Battletoads is one I... Yeah, you know, maybe that should be next. Battletoads. Like, I, I like that game a lot. Oops. Uh, oops. Uh, yeah, maybe I'll stream it, um, sometime. All right. Damn. Yeah, Battletoads. Battletoads needs to be released on Nintendo Switch Online. Uh, hopefully Nintendo can uh, work out a deal with Microsoft to make it happen, but I'm not sure how likely that is. Honestly, what I want more than anything is, like, translated versions of, uh, Fire Emblem and, and things like that. Like, old school, like, Fire Emblem on NES Online. Like, I think it's been re-released already, but, uh, I mean, just translate it, man. How hard could it be? Oops. I just, okay. Honestly, like, they probably should just, they probably want to remake it again, but, oops, shit. Pathetic. That was pathetic. Like, honestly, like, it's hard to believe that Shadow Dragon came out, like, ten years ago, because that game feels like it came out forever ago. Like, I, I legit think that game came out, like, 20... Like, that game came out, like, uh... You know, 20 years ago, but yeah, it's only it's only 10 years old. And it, it is an awful game, to be sure, but... Yeah, terrible, terrible remake. Yeah, Shadow Dragon was so bad that I, I think that, like, almost killed the franchise. Um, and they never released, uh, the third, the, the third game remake. Which I heard was a lot better. Um... I had a fan cart version picked out, but I, I never did get it. Uh, yeah, Fire Emblem is like my favorite has been my favorite series for years, and I still haven't played all the games. So uh, mostly because they haven't been re-released. So I, I think I'm still missing like, uh, yeah, I haven't played three, four, five, or six. I've played all the others. Oops. Well, I, I mean, I, I've skipped a lot of, like, Fates paths, but, you know, Fates is awful. Like, you can skip Fates. Fates is, like, just pure shit. Oops. Like, Fates is not even worth playing. Like, that, that game has, like, no appeal. Like, <laughs> like it's legit, like, the worst thing ever. Yeah, anybody who says that, like, uh, I don't shit on Nintendo games is full of crap, because, like, Fates is, like, legit, like, one of the worst things I've ever played in my life. It's so bad. Oops. Yeah, I, I'd say I, I'm comfortable saying Fates is probably a lot worse than, like, a lot of these uh, PlayStation exclusives I shit on. Oops. But, like, Fate, that's the thing, though. Fates is one game in a series that I generally really like, right? Awakening is one of my favorite games ever, uh, things like that. Like, um, you don't see people, like, really going after The Last of Us Part Two. Like, Fates is bad, and I'll tell you it's bad, but, it, uh, I mean, Awakening was great, and Three Houses was great, so I don't really have a problem with you know what, I don't, I don't get why people pretended that Fire Emblem Warriors was bad. Like, if anything, it was, like, the best warrior ge Warriors game in years. Like, I, I don't understand why people tried to pretend like there was something wrong. Oh, it doesn't have all the characters. Well, oh, of course not. There are hundreds of characters. Honestly, like, they needed to get rid of the twins, but other than that, like... Yeah, yeah, oh, <sighs> Warriors wasn't bad. Oops. Like, it was nice seeing, like, uh, the characters in a... A fully rendered like setting all the time and uh some of like the alternate takes on things were fun Oops. i actually like the fates characters a lot more in warriors than i do in fates themselves because they don't do this stupid bullshit the stupid bullshit they do in fates uh fates has like the worst writing out of anything i think i've ever seen ever like Seriously, it's like the worst. I have no idea. Like it ha that mangaka who like did the story has to be like the worst motherfucker in the world. Cause like, 
I, I cannot believe how terrible. Like, uh, it, it is his fault, by the way, because I, I actually looked at like the um, uh, his contributions, and like as it turns out, like all the characters I actually liked in this, in Fates, uh, Oberu and uh, Hinoka, for example, uh, they did not exist in the original draft. So like all the really controversial characters and story elements, it was all it was all his, it was all him. So it, it's like holy fucking shit! Like you ruined Fire Emblem Fates. Like thanks a lot. Like one of the most exciting concepts I think I've ever. Fates is like the most hyped I think I've ever been for a game, and it was awful. Like the most hyped I, I was for a game uh, since like Twilight Princess I think, and uh, they completely botched it. Like Twilight Princess isn't bad at all, uh, but it was underwhelming I suppose. Like I was expecting it to be Breath of the Wild, but uh, I had to wait like another eleven eleven years for Breath of the Wild. But, uh, well, that princess was still good in spite of being underwhelming. You, you know what I mean? Like it was still just Zelda. Uh, Fates was not. Fates couldn't. Even, Fates couldn't manage that. Fates was a. Uh, Fates was pure shit. It was, Fates was like completely reprehensible. And I, I'm kind of eager for that game to be remade, and I kind of hope I live to see it. Um. Like Fates with like a proper story and. Uh, proper like care put into it like a complete overhaul of the story like that might actually work uh might i mean we'll have to see but like i don't want that game to be really that is like already on my list of games that needs to be desperately be remade so yeah um it, how long did it take for valentia to be remade about like 25 years right so i i hope that uh i hope i hope that fate's gonna get that treatment eventually. To be fair, though, we have a lot of Fire Emblem games to get through. We need, like... I think we need a Fire Emblem 4 remake, first first of all. Which I, I'm hoping is next. Uh, and then we can worry about, like, the others, but... I mean, that kind of goes into what I was saying, though. Like, uh, Nintendo can release remakes and have them be, like, completely new things for most people. You know what I mean? Like, Fire Emblem, uh, it never came out in the West, so... Uh, so, so like you can't really just write it off as just a just a port, bro. Uh. I don't know. A lot of people tried to say Shadows of Valentia was bad, but it wasn't. It, it was legit. It's legit. Like my third favorite Fire Emblem game. Uh. Yeah, my favorite is Path of Radiance, and my second favorite is Awakening. But I'll, Echo Echoes is uh, Shadows of Valentia is fantastic. Damn. No, no. If I if we die to the cheap cheap, I'm gonna be pissed. Alright. Oh for sure, Wii U was by far the, the strongest console of that time period. Uh even now, I would say it's more playable than the PS4 and Xbox One. Um, I, I've definitely played it a lot more. I still play mine quite often. I'll, I mean, oof. I've been wanting to replay Twilight Princess forever. I've been wanting to stream it forever, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. Um, I mean, I mean, I, I popped it in, I streamed it a little bit, but I didn't, you know, actually finish it. And Twilight Princess is one of my... Uh, Twilight Princess is great, um... I definitely like that game a lot more as I get older. I kind of appreciate it more for what it is rather than what it isn't, you know what I mean? Now, people who said that game were bad, that was bad are full of shit. Like, it's legit a lot better than like most of the games that came out after it. Like Bioshock, Portal, uh, a lot of those for sure. Yeah, Portal has to make my make my short list of like one of the most overrated games ever of all time. I'll be fair, like who talks about Portal anymore? Like, it, again, I, I guess it was like an early example of these meme games, right? Where like people would come out and like you know make jokes about games they had never played. You know what I mean? Like the cake is a lie. <laughs> I mean, it, like like I said, it's just internet things. Oops. The internet problem of just people talking about shit they don't have the slightest clue about. All right.
Wait, what? I don't tell- I have to jump? Okay, uh... Ah, ridiculous. Yeah, maybe I should take a break. Uh, B3, I could probably beat it tomorrow. I can't believe I, I stream regularly for like three hours. Oops. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm not sick anymore because I, I definitely am um, getting back into gaming again. For for a while there, I wasn't like able to physically able to stream. Oops. So I'm glad I can do it again. Oops. All right, I'm glad I seem to have corrected my problem. All right. Yeah, but now I just need to write more as well. I mean, to be fair, though, um, I mean, I already have written books. Like, right now, I'm more concerned about, like, growing the YouTube channel and making money off of that, honestly. I don't need to write more. Oops. I'm happy with my rate. I mean, I, I guess it's weird to say, because uh, traditionally, like, I felt like I didn't write enough. I didn't have a book done, but now that I do, it's like, okay, maybe I should do something else. Oops. There we go. Got it. Oh, damn! Really? Uh, you know, it's been three hours. I'm getting I'm getting a little bit tired. I think I am going to watch some anime. Uh, maybe I should just save and quit. All right. Super Mario All-Stars. All right. Um, should I play something else? Real quick. I don't know. Kirby Superstar. I said I was going to play some Star Fox after beating it, but uh, I didn't really beat it. Uh, Super Mario World, Yoshi's Island, the... Uh, uh, Star Fox for sure needs to get done. Star Fox 2 for sure needs to get done. Uh, Kirby Superstar, Smash Tennis, uh, Logic Bomb, Wild Guns. I guess we'll play some Wild Guns real quick. Natsume. Oh, um, I, I don't think so. I, I played something called like Wild Guns Reloaded. I think it's like a like a Wii, an eShop like re-release or something like that. Like it's an updated re-release, so I actually don't know how it differs from the original. So, okay, uh, okay, I guess I'm the dude. All right, here we go. Now I've never actually played this, so let's uh, let's see how good it is. Carson City. Okay, uh... Alright, this is kind of different. Yeah, remember when games used to be, like, uh, completely unique and different? <laughs> oh, hey, it's a, it's a better Western game than uh, Red Dead Redemption. Oops. Is that a robot? Oops. Ah, fuck. Wait, how do I play? Ah, damn. One shot, one kill, huh? Alright. Okay, uh... So you can't move and uh, shoot at the same time. Oops, here we go. Is there anything else I need to know about this? Oh, whoops, what the fuck was that? Oh. So I have dynamite. All right. Yep, I can dodge. Okay. Was that a shotgun? Wait, did I... Ah, oh, here we go. Okay, so it's a power-up. Yeah, I can see why people like this. Oops. Uh, I mean, I, I know this game has its fans. Uh, I can see why. Alright. I mean, to be fair, it feels like kind of like a primitive sin and punishment to me. So, um... This was made by Natsume? The guys behind Harvest Moon? Really? Wow. Uh, they kind of, kind of a radical departure from what they usually make, huh? Welcome. I gotta watch some Clint Eastwood. Like, I watched, like, 
an hour of like the good um, of a fistful of dollars, and it was like the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. I, I need to get back and watch it again. Actually, finish it. Oops. Oops. Here we go. So what? Do you have to dodge when they're they start shooting at you? Oops. Ah, man. They actually have, like, variety of, like, attacks and designs. Like, incredible how, like, a Super Nintendo game can have, like, more uh, variety in its gameplay than uh, games today. All right, here we go. Continue. Do you start from the beginning? So this is one of those games where you just kind of have to get good, huh? Oh, wow. Yeah, so, so I'm probably going to have to play this one more than if it's as good as you say it is. And, and I do kind of like it, but it's like, okay. Okay. Yeah, definitely, uh... Nintendo Switch Online will hopefully bring a lot more attention to, like, these obscure gems like this. People really need to, need to start bitching, stop bitching about, like, where's, uh... Where's what's whatever, where's Earthbound or whatever. Awesome, yeah, I think I'm getting used to it. Alright. Yeah, I can see why people like this. Alright. Oops. Yeah, I have a shotgun now. Oops. Yeah, I've been watching a lot of Trigon, so this is kinda this kinda reminds me of that. Oops. Yeah, I, I gotta get back. I gotta watch that tonight, for sure. I have so much shit I want to watch all the time. It's like, uh I don't know, man. Like, I am... I, I definitely do feel like, okay. I probably should have watched a lot of this while I was younger, but... On the other hand, like, you can't really watch everything. It's like, uh I don't know. It was hard enough, like, playing all the best games in the world. Which I have accomplished. I basically... Well, I mean, not even now I haven't accomplished that. Yeah, I've dedicated, like, a lot of free time to, like, playing all these Nintendo games. And, like, there's all this shit I haven't even really heard of. Like, this. Like, uh, Chibi Robo. I've never played, like, the original. Like, Mario Kart Tumble Dash I don't own. Like, it's like, okay. I still have a long way to go. If I can become a Nintendo master. I mean, Mike Mate is, like, you know, uh, considerably older than me. And he, uh, he just he just now only beat, like, Snake, Rattle, and Roll. You know, which is a classic rare game. Oops. Yeah, I'll definitely play that if I uh, have an opportunity to. Oof, maybe after I beat Battletoads. Ah, uh, so I can't get past the saloon. Yeah, this is this is hard. I mean, I did better that time. I just died really quickly in the in the saloon part. All right, but it doesn't give you. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to come back to this one later. It's definitely on my list. Uh, I'll definitely want to play that again. Uh, probably after I finish everything. Else, I mean, I, I gotta finish like All Stars. I gotta finish uh, Star Fox One and Two. I gotta finish Kirby Dreamland Three. But after that, I should be clean. Oh, Dream Demon's Quest. Yeah, you know, I'll play. Uh, I'll play Wild Guns before Demon's Quest. Uh, I mean, I like Demon's Quest, but I've never finished it. Um, all right. Yeah, I think that's it. I think I'm gonna uh, chill and watch some anime for the rest of the night. Uh, thank you all for tuning in. Uh, be sure to check out my books at blackcatbooks.org. Uh, be sure to subscribe and uh, follow for. I don't know, daily streams? I don't know if I'll be able to stream every day, but uh, it, it definitely... I definitely enjoy doing it. It's a lot of fun just sitting here playing games with you guys. Oh, yeah, I'm a big fan of Joe and Matt, too. Yeah, Congo Escaper. Yeah, I I played it on stream uh, recently. Uh, twice, actually. Uh, great, great game. Uh, 